Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are building the city of Clearwater County. Uh, in Clearwater County, and I apologize, it looks like I'm hot on the mic, I'm taking it down, I'm taking it down. Apparently my settings go across between my two scenes. That's how you guys know that I am the worst streamer that there is. <laughs> so I apologize for that. Uh, so thank you all so much for joining me. I know that there are other events going on right now that shall not be named, and uh, as a result, you're choosing to be here rather than watching that one, and I appreciate that. My kids are even choosing that one. So I appreciate you being here. Uh, in today's stream, what we're going to do, uh, there's a couple of things. First of all, I want to I give a bit of a channel update. Things have changed on my end a little bit, and I want to talk about that. Uh, I also want to go through, and we're going to do two things, and I'm going to give you the opportunity to decide which one we're going to do first. We're going to switch our build to fall. And that's really important because I think that it, that's what I'm seeing out the window right now. So I'm really, really excited. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry that I scared you, Paul. <laughs> Hopefully this is better. <laughs> I'm very, very sorry. Um, so we're going to switch the build over to fall. I'm going to show you how to do that and still maintain your existing settings. And then we are going to build some bike facilities. So the bike facilities aren't necessarily going to be, you know, local bike facilities we'll build a couple of those but really i want to focus on bike facilities throughout the region and, and really focus on bike tourism as a thing that's a huge thing in my area in fact one of the things that was really surprising to me is when i moved to denver for a while i had some colleagues in my planning office that decided to go to wisconsin for uh, bike tourism so it's really really uh, was a surprising thing for me to see uh Mehmet, thank you so much for being a member for 18 months. I'm so glad that this is the first stream that you, there, this is a stream that you can actually to get at and, and, and watch. This is a, a time that for me is really weird. <laughs> I don't normally play during the day, I play at night, but it feels nice. Instead of drinking beer, I'm drinking coffee. And if I sound a little bit more energetic, it's because I'm all hopped up on caffeine. <laughs> so um, as far as channel updates, I just wanted to let you guys know, I've seen a lot of comments about my editing recently, and oh, ID, thank you so much for the support. Good night. Uh, how many mulligans? <laughs> I'll, need some. Uh, I'll need some mulligans. Uh, so the editing has changed. Uh, so I, I think through the channel's history, through the last year, I've had three editors. And uh, the first editor, editor that, that I had was through a firm. And so they, they actually were an editing, uh, business and they reached out to me the the person who was the editor that worked for me uh, Slayzilla was absolutely awesome uh, he was a fan of the channel and understood exactly how things worked and then he left and I decided to leave that company because I didn't want to be with anyone else I wanted to have a little bit more control over that relationship with my editor so I hired another editor and he was awesome but unfortunately didn't deliver content on time a few times so we had to part ways and then the most recent editor, uh, it just never really clicked. Uh, so I let it kind of go on as as long as, as they wanted it to. And eventually they, they said, uh, you know, I just, I don't think I'm going to get this. And uh, I totally respect that. I think that they're an awesome person. And I'm going to still work with them on a couple of other things. I think that uh, there are some things in the next year that are going to be really exciting to work on with them. Um, and that's something that we talked about when they were working for me, and it's something that we talked about on the way out the door too. So I think that uh, some really exciting things are coming with them. So that said, the new editor is me. <laughs> and that uh, changes things um, a little bit in terms of my scheduling. I, I am still working a full-time job, so I might intermix a few more streams in. I don't have to edit the stream. I'm not gonna be doing the stream recaps. Um, not while well, it's me editing, but that is, uh, it's something that I think is going to be a, a beneficial thing for me. You see, I was spending a lot of time going and re-editing, and the longer I did it, the better I got at it, and the more I liked the control. I've been doing a lot to actually go back and change audio, change things that I say, make it a little bit, make my points a little bit more clear, and I've, I've really been enjoying that, and I, I, I don't know that I want to relinquish that control again. So, uh, Cash is Stranger, thank you so much for the support. Finally made a live stream, love your work. Uh, as a fan since the early days of Bluffside. You know, it's funny, Gash is Stranger, that you mentioned that. I was by myself for the first time uh, in the last the last 24 hours. It's, it's probably the longest I've been alone in a long time. My wife was was away at her, at her parents' house with the kids. 
And I watched one of your videos. You had the, uh, this video uh, of Pittsburgh. You were building a fish market. And the, your use of procedural objects, it's very intimidating to me. But the way that you were able to put that together, just absolutely amazing. Absolutely check, check out Gaseous Stranger's channel. I'm not saying that just because of the, uh, <laughs> the super chat. I'm saying it because I actually watch their videos and I watched it last night. So uh, excellent editing. Uh, they tell you all the assets that they're using. It comes up in a little overlay. Uh, excellent music. Just in general, absolutely great channel. So do check it out. All right. And I see Paper Addict. You've been enjoying the editing style. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Thank you. I've really been enjoying editing. I, I think I can. I, I think. I'm, I'm telling stories or I'm trying to. <laughs> so when I when I have been editing, I think I'm able to do that in a more in a way that's more clear. Uh, Skirmisher, thank you so much for the support. Finally caught a live stream that's in my time zone. Hello from Palestine. Hello. Hello. And thank you so much for being here. Uh, and wh why don't we do that? Why don't we tell everyone where we're from right now? I see Germany. I see Latvia. I see Slovenia. I want to see a lot more European times. That's that's why we're having a stream right now. Matthew Edmonds, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. And uh, as a new associate planner, please check out the community tab. There's a link to a super secret uh, folder that has early access to videos. Because I had 24 hours by myself, I was able to record two videos. And I'm going to be editing those this weekend and hopefully getting them up early. Uh, Rockford, Illinois. The gentler editing is really fantastic. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> now I see just this flood of places. So let's see. England, Germany, Denmark, Chicago, Louisiana, Berlin, Mexico, Ireland, Finland, UK, Australia, Latvia, Netherlands, uh, Dortmund, Germany, Netherlands, West Palm Beach, Cape Cod, Netherlands, Brazil, Netherlands. Wow. Netherlands represent tonight. I think uh, I think that the title might have had something to do with that. England, Sweden, Texas, Netherlands, Lebanon, South Africa, London, Le Netherlands, <laughs> Pittsburgh, California, Berlin, Vancouver, Czech Republic, USA, Russia, Minnesota, Texas, Philippines, Manila, into the Philippines, Ohio, Ontario, Sweden, Brazil, Miami. Thank you all so much for being here. Wow. Such a diversity. I think this actually might be the biggest stream that we've had, too. There's... Oh, no, no, I'm looking at the wrong thing. It's a big stream, but it's not the biggest. Uh, Al Demetrius, thank you so much. Uh, am I going to blow up my PC again? Ah, I'm glad that you brought that up. This is a new PC, kind of. So I uh, was really thinking of upgrading to the new AMD, um, the new AMD processors, and I watched a whole bunch of videos. And I saw that uh, basically the 5800 3D with the V-Cache was actually just as good as the new series. So I decided to get a new processor. My previous processor was actually a Christmas gift. And I'm building a new build for my kids. So I moved that processor into that new build and bought myself this. And let me, let me show you this. This is going to blow your mind. I'm seeing generally a 10 FPS uplift in Clearwater County. So 30 is pretty good. Certain views, when you don't look towards Ashland for whatever reason, I can get as high as almost 60 FPS, which is pretty mind blowing. I just, so the 3D Vcash processor is very, very good. Uh, very, very impressed with that. That said, uh, if things look a little bit different, I've been transferring things over. It's been a, it's been a, a bit of a challenge. DJ, I'm happy to see you here. You're from Bluffside Crossing. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, yes, the three. Yeah. Tago says yes. Uh, the the 5800X3D for the win. Yes, my GPU is a 38, a 3080 Ti. Uh, it's the EVGA. Rest in peace, EVGA. Thank you so much for your excellent graphics cards. Uh, the 3060 is actually going in my kids' build. So, yeah, so yeah, it is butter. It's very, very good. When I zoom out, I mean, just 62 FPS in this build. It's just wild. The only place I struggle in is right over here. And whoa, look at that abandonment. We're going to have to make our way back over to Ashland soon. We're having some problems over here, clearly. And we need more residential, but that's not what we're doing today. So I'm going to drop a poll. Yes, EVGA, just, just, just. 
Is this without FPS booster? Uh, let me see. No, I got F FPS booster in. So I have my limiter on. Oh. Let's let's take our limiter off and see what happens. Just none, none of these. Let's just get rid of all this and see what's happening. That's a great point. All right. 100 FPS for a second there. <laughs> Holy cow. 103. Wow, that is wild. Thank you so much for telling me to take off the uh, the uh, limiter because that's wild. <laughs> um, wow. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of speechless. I didn't expect that. So if you're building a new computer, do you consider that, you know, I understand that it's tempting to go for the, the newest and the greatest, but going for that uh, 5800X 3D, wow, wow. It is one heck of a processor. So uh, I, I, I kind of feel bad for AMD because they've kind of shot themselves in the foot. Why would you keep the, keep the menu FPS? That's a good point, I should. Uh, they kind of shot themselves in the foot, in my opinion, by creating such a great processor. I mean, I was I was ready to spend all of the money on a new build, and now uh, I'm happy with what I have. Yes, that's the smoothest FPS I've seen. I've me too. <laughs> so, um, all right. So I'm gonna drop a poll now, and I want to see. Uh, well, maybe I guess maybe I'll tell you a little bit more about my machine. Yeah. So. Koba says the 7000 series with the Vcash will be amazing. Yeah, and that's kind of what I was thinking is unless that one's out right now, there's just no point. There's just no point. Um, yeah, the strong PC is because of all the modded content, the recording. That said, I don't record on this computer anymore. If you take a look, OBS is not even installed on this machine right now. Uh, I have that running on my Mac, so I'm looking at an ultra-wide monitor at my Mac, and that's where I have the chat up. That's where I have... Um, OBS running, so you're hearing me through my Mac, and I play on the PC now to give myself a little bit more overhead. So, um, just want to really maximize what I'm doing. All right, you should try Bluffside's map again. Want to see the difference your growth will make? So it's interesting that you mentioned that because I've been thinking about you know I had that video where I went through one of my first builds and kind of fixed some things, and I've been thinking about doing that in Bluffside Crossing. I thought it'd be a fun video. We'll see, because I'm 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 better at the game than I was then. So yeah, 128 for a second. 132 now. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put up a poll and uh, let's talk about what we wanna do first. Do we wanna work on bike facilities or do we wanna convert the build to fall? So let's I got I've always gotta remember, how do I do this? <laughs> All right. I am going to get this, I promise. All right, I think I might have it figured out. All right, start a poll. So, what should we do first? Bike facilities or fall conversion? All right, the poll should be going up. So, Planner Duck says uh, reboot bluff side. <laughs> Uh, July Flame, thank you so much for uh, being a member for seven months. Autumn Vibes first. I think that that's not a bad idea, truthfully. But I'm going to let you go. Ooh, I'm right now, we have 226 votes. And uh, I'm not sure. Can you guys see this? Oh, you can. You can. So, Bike Facilities is winning, but it's slowly starting to tick down. Bikes, bikes, bikes. So I would say that the bike facilities part of this is going to be a lot more laid back. The the fall conversion, we're going to actually spend some time in Windows Explorer going through and figuring out exactly how all of this is going to work. So there's a lot there's a lot that's going to go into the fall conversion. So if you want the laid back time first, then we do that. And then we'll get into the technical aspect of, of this with the fall conversion because we want to make sure that we aren't throwing away these settings. These are important settings. So we want to make sure that we, uh, we get that. So I'm going to let this go for another couple minutes. We've got about half of you that have voted. I want to see this get to, we've got 988 people here and 548 of you have voted. I want to get to about 700. 
and then we will uh, we will go with it. Right now, bike facilities is definitely leading. Uh, Stoked Owl, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. And sit. And Adam, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner as well. All right, establish the atmosphere first. Fall, the bikes look so aesthetic. Yeah, so uh, talk about the thumbnail a little bit while we're waiting for our last couple of votes. I actually built that right over, it was like right over here. Oh my goodness. Here we are. Wouldn't be one of my builds without this. <laughs> the atmosphere should be established first. <laughs> So I think, I think it's going to be bikes. I think it's going to be bikes. And maybe we need those bike facilities so that people can bike away from their, their uh, apartment complex that is burning down. <laughs> so, votes bikes because fall is tedious. Fall is a little bit tedious, but I think I have a way to show you that it's not so bad. And my biggest fear is that I screw it up and then I need to not do that on stream and I need to restart, so. There is that part, so maybe it is a good idea to do the bikes first. I'm going to end the poll. We got to 682, and bike facilities overwhelmingly was the win winner. All right. So we've got enough fire trucks here. We should be just fine. Let's take this today, and I've been using a number of new mods through here, and one of the mods that I've been using is Play It. I want to really give a huge shout-out to Fate57. So we've been chatting. I, I, I've not been as active uh, in Discord and responding to comments. My life has been very, very busy professionally and personally. And then I've been editing all the videos, so it's been a, a lot. Um, that said, um, I've been chatting with some people uh, when I can on Discord. And Fate's been going back and forth, re recommending mods that I should be incorporating into the list. And... I just, I, a really huge thank you, because this is one of the mods that's in there. Render, it's now in there. And, you know, theme mix, I, I cr I've modified the, the Clearwater County theme a bit. Obviously, the Nicolay Bay theme as well. I've been spending a lot of time on those, because I really think that they yeah, enhance your gameplay. So, on to bike facilities. What we are going to do is create linkages between each of the communities. So, in Van Buren, we need to have a connection between the two of these. We're going to try to think about bike facilities uh, from the perspective of a recreational cyclist and a utilitarian cyclist. So a utilitarian cyclist would want the most direct route, most likely. So they might feel like hopping on a bike lane is, is the right way to go. A, uh, a cyclist that is on a recreational route is going to want as few intersections as possible. They're going to want it to feel comfortable, and they're going to want the route. Uh, they're, they might be more meandering and more scenic in, in, in character. So that is what we're going to do right now. Let me see. I've got. Thank you so much, Andrew, for becoming an associate planner. I appreciate that. Uh, Paul Moore, is it true that when you reach 1 million subs, you'll do a face reveal? Sure. Why not? <laughs> uh, all right. We are going to get to this. So let's start here. And we're going to start with some on-street bike facilities. We're going to focus on our utilitarian routes in Van Buren first. And as we do this. What I think we need to look at is connecting up the most people that we can to destinations. So right here, I think we're going to pop all the way around here, come down past the courthouse and try to get to the coast. Now, the reason for that is I don't want to have all of these bikes in the middle of our busiest road with all of these conflict points. At least when you look here, we should look at our traffic view as well. Let's get these bikers on some roads that don't have as much traffic, but are uh, as direct as they can be. So this is not as great, admittedly, as going down our main arterial right here, but this parallels it. It's a little bit longer, but the, the level of stress on this route would be a lot less. There are some areas like right here where because we've only got two roads connecting the two halves of Van Buren, there's a lot of conflict right there, but that's okay. And then as we get into our downtown area, we're going to need to focus on our tram network because those don't, those aren't going to work well. We also got our new uh, pedestrian network here, and I don't want to rely on forcing the bikers into the pedestrian network. So we're going to need to find a way to get through here and around this area. So it might not be that it's super direct, but we're going to have connections uh, to these areas and through these areas. 
And then we've got our conflicts over here as well. So we've got a lot to do. Let's start right here. And I think the logical place to start is with all of this density. So let's come through here. We'll go to our bike tab and we're going to start with our just our just regular two lane bike lane roads and bring that right through here. And hopefully the sound is not too loud. It's always difficult for me to, to, to see. And oh, I got a message from Will CS. After this stream is done, I am going to highly recommend that you go and check out Will's channel. He's going to be releasing a brand new video and they're always bangers. So I think you should check it out. And I will give you a link to that as soon as it goes live. Okay, Justin says the first thing I did this morning was a seven mile scenic fall bike ride. That sounds absolutely fantastic. I probably should have. <laughs> uh, the Capitol Road is something RC would like the strongest shape. <laughs> you know, we have a couple of those work through here. And I, I hope that he's, I hope he's, uh, I hope he enjoys. <laughs> He's a good guy. I've spoken with him a couple of times. Uh, very, very funny guy. Um, in those choke point areas, maybe you could widen the walkway on the beach. That is a great idea. So, yeah, we're going to have a parallel path here. Let's do that. So we'll come through. We'll use our parallel road tool. We're going to need to, first of all, go through and select our bike path. But then we can come through here, the network multi-tool, the parallel road tool, or alt two, which I don't have my numpad. And I know that I saw a hashtag get fill a numpad. I actually have a Bluetooth numpad. I, I probably should use it. <laughs> I uh, for, I went through this phase of believing that I, I should really have a, a tiny keyboard. And right now it makes a lot of sense. My desk is kind of cramped, but I'm looking to improve that in a little while. And at that time, maybe I'll need to do something different. All right, so we're gonna offer an off-street facility here. Now this is gonna be on the beach. Oh, I love that. Yeah, we're going to elevate this so that we get this bit of separation here. Let's, oh, look at that. That is really nice. So what we'll do now, I don't love the idea of forcing everyone to use this if they, if they want to, to go on the road. Let's give them that option, but let's open up some opportunities here. And this beach is really small anyway. It's not a great uh, beach for beach going. <laughs> so I think we can feel pretty okay adding this bike facility right there. What do you guys think of that? Let me see. Beanbag says no numpad gang. <laughs> Evening filling everyone. Brutus, thank you so much. I love how there's actually so much behind the bike paths, even though they seem so normal for a Dutch person. Yeah, I could. So it wasn't always normal in the Netherlands. I, I want to say that the, the bike lanes really became pressed in the 70s. So that should give everywhere else hope. <laughs> like if you want to have a, uh, a society that is less dependent on cars, it's possible and it could be done quickly. You just have to, you just have to, you know, make the investments. July. Can we get a current look at the traffic and the cyclist pedograph before we go much further? Yes. And thank you so much for the support. All right. So traffic flow, we're at 75%, which is something that we're going to have to focus on soon. I wonder where our biggest backups are. Right here. It's pretty, pretty bad. Otherwise, I'm not really sure. I think it's just, ooh, got some problems over here as well. We might have to have a traffic fixing episode soon. All right, and then if we take a look at our bike ped graph, let's take a look. <laughs> you can already see this massive jump. So we are currently at 1,291. So let's keep that number in mind. Let's see if we can do better. See if we can do better. Uh, let's see, Gash's Stranger says, has anyone noticed Adaptive Networks is broken today? Uh... It is in my is it is in my mod list, and I have not noticed. But one place I would be able to tell is over here. I can't. It looks like some of the transitions are a little off and strange looking because I thought that this looked better before. We're over right by the airport right now, and Fairchild, so maybe. 
maybe. So I know that I've talked to some creators uh, who routinely will make, they'll basically take a snapshot of their mods and they will, instead of subscribing to things, they'll have, a, they'll have an account where they subscribe to mods and then they'll pull them into their other accounts. I've thought about doing that. In fact, I kind of have done it to a certain extent. I have a backup of everything. And when we're, when we're working on the tree conversion, I will show you that. But we're going back to our bike lanes. And right here, again, I've got, I've got collision off. I didn't mention that, but I think that's really important to mention it. You see this flickering? This is actually TMPE and the parking. So we're removing parking. So it's recalculating where all of the parking would actually take place. Now here's an unfortunate thing. We've got these really nice main street roads. We're taking all of these out. This would be super controversial and I could actually see in reality a huge push to just have Sharrows here or to extend this bike facility along here. Actually, I think that's the route that we might go. So yeah, that's the route that we're gonna go. We don't wanna take out all of these main street streets. So we're gonna, we're gonna call a mulligan. And what we're gonna do, we are gonna force everyone onto this path. And we're actually gonna extend this main street street sort of thing, this decorative street down here. And that will force all the bikers onto the path. Now, we're gonna continue this path until we get to here. I think that's a better solution. I think it's gonna work out better for us. And then we're not, we don't have the conflict between uh, removing parking, which it's, you hate to remove well utilized parking. I, if parking is not utilized, absolutely get rid of get rid of it every single time i hate arguing with people about parking I, I hate it because it's one of those things where if you have a whole bunch of parking and it's not well utilized you end up with uh roads and let me see if i could find one as an example this is a good example no one's using this parking. So this road feels like it's twice as wide and psychologically what that does to you is says go faster. You can, you can get away with it. But when you have that conflict right here, a car on either side, it narrows your, your tunnel of view and it makes you go slower. And if you look in Europe at the roads there, the reason why cars are going slow is it's a constrained environment. The cars are smaller, the, the roads are narrower and uh, you know, there's the parking is well utilized in, in, in places. So uh, Joe asks, did it snow in Wisconsin yesterday? It snow, it snowed up north. My wife was up north and it snowed. For me, there were there were flurries a bit. But it wasn't that bad. And today it's absolutely beautiful. All right, so let's get this. This is well utilized parking, like I said. We're gonna we're gonna keep it. We're gonna parallel this up again. So we will pop through here go into our parallel mode and start pulling this by. Tab it over. And we didn't change the location, so we can just keep it here. Now we've got to, we've got to click on every single intersection, otherwise it'll give us uh, issues. Then we'll hit enter here and it should be absolutely beautiful. It's a nice connection. Now for this, I'm gonna hit M, pop it to move it and pull this back. Well, I dropper this and I want to lower this to the ground so that it feels a little bit more natural of a connection. So now it feels like it's telling you to go here. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So I'm curious if we take a look here, are people actually using, using this yet? Yeah, that is wild. That's really impressive. That's really, that's exciting. So that reminds me though, do we have the policy available or enabled right now for enabling, for boosting biking? Yes, we have encouraged biking on. The path is one way. I No, it's not. I don't know why it shows as a one way path, but it's, it's not a one way. Snow, it's still 80 here, says Tux. <laughs> uh, ooh, Halen Fitchburg. So Fitchburg, uh, is is a suburb of Madison, and I know that uh, in the downtown area, saw some flurries. My kid at school said that the entire uh, the entire class stopped talking and looked out the window to watch the snow. 
And it was so distracting that they couldn't get anything done. <laughs> uh, George says it's 90 in Texas. <laughs> Would anyone else love to see Phil building a new city in a desert setting? Nobody else is really doing that at all. Overcharged egg is, and it's absolutely beautiful. But I will tell you, with Nicolay Bay, I was choosing between a desert setting and a um, what will eventually be very pedestrianized. So we will uh, we will definitely we will definitely do a desert build. Maybe even next, but I do I, I wanted to go for that. Pedestrian. And there's a, there's going to be a lot of connections between Nicolay Bay and and Clearwater County coming up very soon, where the stories are going to be intertwined, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. All right, so let's get back to this. And here we're going to send bike lanes up a couple of streets, so that we're able to reach all these destinations, and then straight through here. Now the unfortunate thing about the road that we picked is it's not a through street. So we're going to need to find a way across. And truthfully, this is probably where we get some conflict. We're not going to convert this to be a bike facility. So the bikers are just going to have to intermingle with the pedestrians. But let's get this converted. We're just coming up through here. And straight through the community. So this is a nice, it's going to be a bit of an artery for us. So here's the problem. We've got this park right here. I think we're just gonna run bike lanes through the park. We haven't we haven't built this park out and soon we're gonna be building out some of these areas like this. There have been a lot of discussions about what should be here. And I think that with this being in the UP and along Lake Superior, having something that honors the Edmund Fitzgerald would make a lot of sense. So that's likely what we're gonna do. Uh, Thomas if I thought, so asks if I've thought about banning uh, cyclists on sidewalks. I have not. I think that it's a that's a policy that you should really only consider in targeted areas. So I know that I worked in a community that had a two block stretch where you couldn't bike on the sidewalk and it was mainly because of sidewalk cafes. So I, I think that you need to really, really uh, target policies like that because just from a, a human standpoint, I, I don't ever want to make someone feel like they shouldn't ride a bike. So, uh, and even in the build, I know it's a game, <laughs> but I, I think about those sorts of things. Uh, if you're banning biking on sidewalks, you are telling people that it's better to drive their car on that street. <laughs> so I don't want to do that. Uh, let's see. Justin says, oh my God, I've been thinking about the same things about connecting uh, county builds in a story type setting. Yes. It's a lot of fun. Uh, winter is coming. Do you have places set aside for snow dumps? Uh, I do. I think I think our snow dumps are still over here. Ah, they are not. <laughs> so, so we had snow dumps. We will get them back because <laughs> winter will be coming. All right. So through the park, let's go ahead. And this is going to be a very direct connection because we. This is a utilitarian route. Remember, so just straight through the park. So I think this is gonna change the character and flavor of this area is, is maybe a place with just seating areas and whatnot. We're not quite there just yet. I see this though, and this drives me crazy. We're gonna square this up. Now, the reason why I'm squaring it up, not because I love a gigantic intersection, but because this takes the crossings and makes them shorter. And that's something that you would really think about when you are uh, figuring out where those crossings would go. You want the crossings across the street to be as short as possible. So the other thing, the other consideration would obviously be the sight distances, but this is signalized, so it's maybe not quite as big of a deal. Uh, let's see, Get some more comments, lots of them. Don't worry though, CPB builds are always my favorite. Uh, I just wanted to ask if modded vehicles are coming to Nicolay Bay. That is a good question. Likely, likely. Uh, so the, I'm thinking of going through my entire mod collection and structuring it differently than I've been doing it so that when I when I update a primary mod list the vanilla quote unquote vanilla mod list it just goes uh, and uh, updates basically all of my all of my stuff so I can just subscribe to that list and then build upon it layer on top of it so I look at the numbers 
of, of people that are subscribed to the, the lists and I'm absolutely flabbergasted and it, and it feels like there's a lot of responsibility that goes along with that and I'm not keeping up with my end of the bargain right now. So we're going to do better. We're going to do better. But that, that takes time. And right now, that is probably my biggest limiting factor. I would be lying if I didn't admit that uh, from time to time, I think about the other creators that have the ability to to, to, to work on this full time and uh, with a bit of envy because they're able to to put that level of effort in. And I would love to be able to do that, uh, to be able to, to sit down and really sink in. And in fact, that is something that I did over the last day and it was really nice so this is an interesting situation we actually do have a four lane bike road so we're going to add that here but it's wide i don't love that so if we run that past the apartments which i'd love to do we are taking what right now are collectors and i think need to be collectors because of the amount of traffic that this area would generate and that in the future, once this builds out, which will likely be soon, the amount of traffic that we would expect to, to carry right here, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit of a challenge. So this right here, maybe this is the route that we go. So we could think about the primary direction that people would be traveling in and go with a three lane road. That said, what are we really doing here? What is the purpose? And I think that's a question to ask every now and then. And maybe this is just where it ends. No, no, it can't. We've got to get this to the apartments. So, all right, we're going to just, we're going to, we're going to convert this. We'll go with a little bit wider of a street right here. I don't love it. I don't have another asset, but we will run that up along the side here. And this will be where we end things. So I think that that makes sense. So I think I'm going to take a quick moment. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but we have a cold running through our entire family and I am uh, the, the most recent victim. So I'm going to blow my nose for just one quick second on mute <laughs> so you guys can't hear. Uh, and then I'm going to read some comments for just a second. So just a moment. Okay, <laughs> I blame uh, being a Midwesterner and the seasons changing. <laughs> it's just kind of one of those constant things you got to deal with. All right, uh, Justin says, "I love your mods list," and let's 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 formalize this as a time to just kind of hang out. Let's let's just uh, we're gonna take this, and while we're hanging out and chatting a little bit. Let's just go to this and I'm going to read through some comments right now. All right. I love your mods list. I use your list uh, because I trust that your mods will work mostly that and I can watch you use them. So that is the kind of comment that makes me really want to make sure that my lists are as good as they can be. I'm actually really proud. Nic Nicolay Bay's mod list. Uh, if we take a look, I want to say that it has a, a five star rating right now. Let me see. So this is one of my Steam accounts. So this is the Clearwater Card. Please don't add me. <laughs> I'm going to end up declining it if I do. Uh, mostly because, not because I don't want uh, friends, but uh, because it pops up while I'm recording. <laughs> I always forget to turn it off. Uh, right now it doesn't matter. But uh, Tree in the Road. Hey, hey, Bobby J. All right, we'll fix that. That's, that's, a, that's a problem with right now. All right. So I want to take a look at the collections. Yeah, it's so this is my goal for all of my mods list. If I've done this, that means I put together a good list that you guys can follow along with. And I've done a good job at maintaining it and making sure that everything works. This was not a four star list to start. It was a four star list to start out with. So I want you guys to let me know if I'm not doing something well. That's that means a lot to me. All right. So. Uh, Jojo suggestion, connect bikes to the train station. We will absolutely do that. Thank you so much for the support. Vey, thank you so much for 10 months of being an associate planner. Uh, hot mulled wine is the best con uh, congestion. Yeah, uh, that's a good idea. You know, I, 
I, you know, maybe a hottie toddy would be good too. <laughs> uh, Adam, why not take the bike lanes all the way to the school? We're going to. We're going to. That's absolutely part of the game plan. Uh, I concur. I'm learning so much from watching you and Yumble. Yumble is absolutely uh, one of my favorite uh, City Skylines YouTubers. And just a, just a, a general, a good guy. So if you aren't watching Yumble, please do it. He's absolutely great. Um, let's see. Do you think... Uh, bike bridge that goes over the highway. Yes, we're going to do that. That's going to be part of our regional connection. We have to do that. We're going to have a bike highway. It's going to connect the two universities. So we're going to... That's going to be our next... We need to get out of... We're going to add a couple of connections through Van Buren, and then we're going to get out of Van Buren. we got to make our way around the community. Uh, here in Poland, or at least in Warsaw, you can only bike on the sidewalk if the speed limit of the road is more than 50 kilometers per hour. Uh, the sidewalk is wider than two meters, and there is no bike path there. That makes sense. I think that's a fair that's a fair compromise. I think the problem is that we have so many areas here that don't have bike facilities. Madison, where I live, is one of the more progressive places about it. We have you know bike boulevards. Uh, we have uh, contraflow bike lanes. We have off-street bike facilities that connect throughout the entire community, the entire community, and that connect the suburbs to the the the, the, the core of Madison. Um, but we are a platinum biking city. We're one of the most progressive bike biking places in all of the U.S. So I know that it's more of an anomaly than 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 it should be. Um, let's see. Why not slightly higher density within the downtown of Van Buren? Uh, so we have a lot of density. We're not going to go high with our density, though. We're probably going to add to it. Uh, but really, we want to preserve the views that we have here. That's been my main concern is we've got all of these very expensive government buildings that are the architectural gems of the entire state. So we wouldn't want to block the views of those by having a whole bunch of buildings that tower over them. When I was living in Denver, that was something that I always thought was kind of strange is that there, the capital in Denver is absolutely beautiful, but it kind of gets lost when you're, when you're on Colfax, you kind of just pass it. You're like, Oh, there's the capital. And then you have this towering downtown. It's not towering over it, but it's very close. Uh, mine's a general good guy. <laughs> I, don't, I, I feel like I lost some context there. <laughs> uh, Maury, thank you so much for the support. Hey there, thank you for the amazing videos. Thank you for the support. Thank you for being here. Uh, Ryan Johnson says a rural bike highway. Yes, that's what we are going to do. And we've got Will CS in here. Thank you so much, Will, for being here, being a moderator. How have I been? I've been very, very busy. I've had so I've got a number of projects that I'm working on professionally that have all come to a head at once and the editor things. And then uh, basically every weekend has had something going on, a wedding. Uh, I visited my dad up north last weekend and uh, took him out to, to, to dinner for his birthday. And my stepmom's birthday is two weeks later. So it's kind of a, a birthday for all of them. And then spent the night there, spent some time with my sister. Um, and... Uh, it's kind of been like that for the last few weekends. So I've been very, very busy, very, very busy, but it's been good. It's great to, to see family and to get out of uh, my basement. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, Madison, lovely town. I completely agree, Stefan. I love it here. Uh, fruit and veg. Do you have any plans to develop more of the hill next to the university at some point? Yes. That said, I don't think that the hill develops until we are completely done developing here. And the main reason for that is this is very costly development. So unless right now, if this develops, we're developing some very, very, very expensive homes in the future, maybe be, when this is completely built out and we're just kind of out of land, developing up the hill becomes more attractive because uh, there's no more land available. So that's the idea. And I've got to watch some more Gashes Stranger videos. So I understand uh, the best ways to build on a hill is that the work that's happening in uh, the Pittsburgh uh, series is, is quite impressive. Uh, and Pooch the dog is in here too. Should go to bed <laughs> in Asia. So I think it's very, very late there. Let's see. Namibia, Africa. Hello. Thank you so much, Cypherpunk, for being here. Uh, yeah, Zeke says, blame the bipartisan infrastructure law for keeping Phil busy. Yes, I will say that. I've been submitting... So many grant applications. It's been absolutely ridiculous. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to... I, I actually submitted one recently. and I'm done with it now. So thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy. Uh, 
the master dork says, what does Phil look like? Uh, about six feet tall, um, curly hair. I am uh, biracial and uh, I'm a uh, moderate build. There, now you know what, I, uh, if you want to know what I look like, uh, there was a basketball player on the Bucks about 10 years ago that was my doppelganger. I'm trying to think of his name. Can't think of it. Can't think of it. Uh, let's see, Carlos. I also have a city with 70,000 uh, like yours and I have been, and I have every road with bike lanes and even a bike, uh, an elevated bike highway lanes and only have 3,000 people riding a bike. That's That's odd. I'm very curious about that. Well, thank you so much for the support. I, I'm not sure why that would be the case. It's interesting. Uh, you know, I think I've mentioned this in multiple videos. The bike lane roads cost the exact same amount as a normal street. That is completely ridiculous. <laughs> but go with it. If you can add bike lanes all over, you should. You should You should incorporate bike lanes in every single community that you have. Uh, Vey, you gifted 10 City Planner memberships. I've, uh, City Planner plays memberships. You've done that before, and I really appreciate that. If you are not, if you do not allow gifted memberships, I would highly recommend right now you hurry up and add them, add that ability. Not George Hill. Not George Hill. I can't think of, he played at North Carolina. Oh, uh, boy, what is his name? I'm going to, now, now my curiosity. Now my curiosity is going to get the best of me. Bucks, North Carolina player, Milwaukee. That's a really stupid search, but maybe it works. Uh, not John Henson, not, not Pat Connington. Uh, let me just look at images. I can't. Actually, here's a better way. Uh, Bucks roster 2011. And maybe this is when it was. Maybe it was a little bit later than that. I, when I see his name, I will definitely recognize it. This is the wrong year. Let's go 2015. Kendall Marshall. Kendall Marshall's my doppelganger. So if you've wondered what I look like, imagine me as Kendall Marshall. <laughs> that is definitely like, I, we basically look the same. Uh, Brooke Lopez, no. <laughs> Not my doppelganger. Uh, but I'm I'm significantly shorter, four inches shorter than Kendall Marshall, so I got that going for me. Uh, onto the Kumpo, I wish. <laughs> I need to fix St. Francis, Wisconsin. Whoever developed it was drunk. No. <laughs> there have been a lot of jobs po poking up in Milwaukee. I get I'm on the the list serve for that, and just tons of them. Uh, let's see. How do we turn on gifted memberships? Uh, let me see. I, oh, I am not 100% positive. I'm being, if I'm being completely honest with you, I don't see that view. So I'm not, I'm not completely sure. And let's see, we've got some spam. Awesome. Well, Tinder bot, you are definitely, definitely hiding, hidden from the channel. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, am I going to make an Eastern European city at any time? If you do, can it be Lithuania? I would consider it in the future. But so here's the thing. Uh, when I take on something that is that much outside of my comfort zone, I want to, I want to be able to invest time into it. And I don't know that I have that right now. So that's, that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, am I bald? I'm not bald. Well, I have very little hair right now. Um, I go bald sometimes. <laughs> And then sometimes I have an afro. So it all it all depends. Uh, let's see. Will, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. I appreciate your support. All right. I think that we need to get back to building. I agree, El Demetrius. Another excellent builder. If you haven't checked out El Demetrius's channel, highly recommend you do so. All right. So because we are going back, we're going to make this noon again. Our favorite time to build. And we want to focus on the connections into the community at this point in time. So we're gonna grab our bike lane road and think about the most direct routes that we can add. Now, here's the problem. We've got a lot of tram facilities through here. So I think that this street right here is one that we could, and we should look at our traffic as well. Not very much traffic on this road. So again, this is likely a good choice. We're gonna go and bring them up and down here. Also, not great utilization of the parking. Part of that is the amount of parking that we have in the side streets. There are a lot of conflict points here. 
I don't love that. Uh, but it's probably as good as we get. So we'll run that up through here. And I like the idea of removing parking through this city. There's just a lot of parking. Now this opens up another opportunity to pull this on through. And I think that we're going to take it. Because getting through the high school campus is going to be a bit of a struggle. So if we can pull that through here and run the bike lanes right through the campus, that's a net benefit for the students here. So we're going to do that. And on the local roads here, I'm not as concerned. Generally on a local road, it's considered, you know, a, a low level of stress road. You could bike on there no matter your ability for the most part. And look, we got, we've got some things popping up through the road. We're going to take care of that. Let's get rid of that tree there. Get out of here. There we go. Much, much, much better. We ideally, I think that we would make another connection through the campus. I'd love to connect this. It's going to be kind of a trick. This road right here, though. So we currently have this median road. I think we're going to replace that with a bike lane and try to find a way to make a connection here. So that's what we're going to do. We'll run it up here. And this might be, so this is one of those spots where I wouldn't want to restrict biking on the sidewalk. This might be actually labeled as a an area where biking on the sidewalk is part of the bike network. Not ideal, but I think that that's what we might need to do. The other option would be to actually create an off-street connection right here through this campus. I actually, I really like that idea. So maybe we do that as well. But let's run this around the campus real quick. We didn't lose our nodes there, so you can still cross the campus. And we're going to run this right down here. Straight to... Straight to our train station, which is absolutely perfect. Now, I... I saw a number of comments about this particular asset. I'm going to be replacing this. Apparently, this parking ramp is a parking ramp from uh, San Andreas. <laughs> so uh, the reason why it looks all crazy. So I've commented about this. Like, what? what's the deal with this? These are actually ramps where you could drive off and fly. <laughs> so uh, not my finest asset collecting there. <laughs> Brandon, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. I appreciate that. Uh, Phil, the cyclist cannot go onto elevated paths in the middle. Cannot go onto the elevated paths in the middle. Cynthia, what do you mean? I, I, I want to know. I want to know. I'm confused. The giant parking lot, uh, parking area on campus shouldn't exist. Or, uh, shouldn't exit on the bike road. That's not a bad comment. That's not a bad comment at all. Um, uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. Let's let's swap the location of this and we will move our access points to this main road. I don't love that, but it actually makes it does make some sense. So let's do it. We'll remove these. And that will remove conflict points. I'm going to go and have anarchy on. This is going to be a tough one. Ah. Let's see, I really want this to be straight, so I'm going to put only angle on. And hopefully that allows me to create a very ugly connection there. And we'll use node controller to see if I can fix that. I don't think I can. Uh, oh, oh, I, I was able to get it to work. All right, that is very ugly. Very, very ugly. But I like it better than curving it in. So we'll add that there, and then we'll add one here as well. And that one's pretty clean. And then here we will remove these connections. Now, now that we've moved these, removed these, we need to have pedestrian connections across. Otherwise, people are trapped in the parking lot and not able to get to these facilities over here. So I'm adding these off to the side, and then I'll I'll just use move it to, to scoot them over a bit. There we go. There we go. So, yeah, that was a great suggestion. I appreciate that. Uh, can I please sing Rick Roll? No. <laughs> uh, can you use Bob on the weird pieces that don't look right in the parking garage? I cannot. 
Uh, I tried. Uh, we, we're just gonna need to replace it. I didn't grab a new asset yet, but it's something that's on my radar. We're gonna do that. So through here, the other thing that I want to do, if you wanted to pull off here, and oh, we've got hearses and cars using this. I don't love that. We're gonna fix that. We're gonna run a bike path right back through here. And this is gonna be a, a bit of a tricky route, but it'll give you an off street option to get to this, to this bike lane right here, which I think is a lot better. Now I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go through and take a look at what's being allowed right here. I certainly didn't mean for cars and I, truthfully, I should probably bob this. Oh no, no, th that's okay. They just need to drive around and not use the pedestrian facility. <laughs> so let's go into TMPE and we'll look at some vehicle restrictions right here. And yeah, that's the problem. Everything's allowed right here. Hold down, sh well, I don't wanna hold down shift. I'll just block it in one location and that'll be good enough. We'll get rid of transit vehicles, cargo vehicles, garbage trucks. Yep, turn around, what are you doing? You're not, no. <laughs> and we'll, ke we'll keep, we'll keep just emergency vehicles. And this one little segment, hopefully that does the trick. Let's see. You know what, Harvey, you remind me of someone. Fill up with two L's. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, cast, the, uh, cast the Red, thank you so much for the support. Would you consider doing uh, an archipelago uh, type of city? Uh, yes, I would. I would, I would absolutely. Uh, Monsi, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. I appreciate the support. Yeah, I would absolutely consider an island build. I've been thinking about doing that. Theo Man 2.0, Phil said no, stop spamming it out. Thank you. Can we can we all give a hand to Will for managing the stream right now? This is one of the first streams that's been at a reasonable time for him. So why don't we give Will a fire emoji? Yeah, uh, just as a as a huge thank you to Will and really to all the other moderators uh, of of the streams. I could not do this without their help. So thank you so much. Sap Pizza people. Oh, and I didn't even realize I'm reading the <laughs> we're following this car. I didn't even realize it because I'm, I'm looking at the at the chat. Uh, people can't get in the middle of the bike path because it's elevated. The middle of the bike path. Oh, 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 okay. I get what you're saying now. Over here, we are not allowing people to get on. That is a great comment. Let's see if there's a way that we can address that. Maybe we take a portion of this and make it at grade. So I think that this is probably as good a spot as any. We're so close to the train station. So why don't we just, yeah, we'll just ground a portion of this. Oh, it just looks so bad. It looks so bad. Uh, huh. All right, maybe we can fix this. We'll go out and we'll look at our concrete. And if I can use some of our ploppable concrete, we'll go with a two by two pop out of our whiteness. I have not added toggleable whiteness to this yet. I'm going to. It's a little bit better. We've still got some of that green stuff going on, which I don't love. I don't know that I can fix it really. Yeah. If I try to fix it, I end up just taking out my path. So I think that we have to deal with a bit of imperfection there. But it could be worse, and at least now people should be able to get on here and get off in this particular location. Look at all those flames for Will. Thank you guys so much for showing Will your appreciation for him moderating the chat. It is absolutely huge. He is our hero. <laughs> all right. Bikes are getting despawned at that grounded section. Yeah. <laughs> Let's speed this up and see. Does that... When do they start? All right, right there. Now we're good. Oh boy, look at all these people. It's a bloodbath. <laughs> we have we have a couple people that are making it through, but for the most part, every man, woman, and child is just disappearing <laughs> in this section. It's gotta it's gotta fix itself soon. It's happening over there as well. I don't know. <laughs> Eventually. We're gonna we're gonna assume that this resolves itself over time. We're just gonna step away. Step away. Okay, I'm seeing more and more bikers getting through. 
So yeah, hopefully that despawning. Yeah. Oh boy. We're gonna let this go for a minute because I am very I'm genuinely curious. Is this gonna continue to happen? Hopefully not. That's so I think this is a routing issue where the old routes are disrupted and they could be coming from a long ways away because bikers are in, in city skylines willing to bike forever. Forever. Uh and then fencing, that's a good option, a good uh, good thing to think about as well. So the city fence was suggested in the chat. Let's think though, because I think we might have a better option. Actually, I don't even need to I don't even need to look. We have a good option over here. We've got this fence, which I think could be ideal as our replacement. So let's eyedropper this. And then we'll come over here. And truthfully, we could add that over here and over here. Now, you get, you get conflicts. So we're going to have to place it way over here and then move it over. So this is what I wanted to do in Verde Beach that I was unable to do uh, because... These will clip into these fence pieces will clip into the uh, the, the pads that they, they, they're treated as pads or maybe it's the other way around. I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but now that I have move it available to me, I can make some really nice connections here without worrying much at all. Look at that. Oh, oh, <laughs> doing some ugly things here. All right. That's that's a ton better. And then right here, we'll get this one fixed as well. Oh, I absolutely. I guess I could have used the parallel road tool as well. That would have been a very logical option. <laughs> but we decided to go this route, which is fine as well. Not perfect, but we're going to step away. Step away and just be happy. A whole YouTube baby. Hello from Jakarta. I must have missed something. Thank you so much, Sandy, for the support for being a member for nine months. So, you know, your builds are a little less car cent are, are a little car centric for my taste, but if I saw the kind of pedestrian bicycle activity in my city, I think I'd die happy. Yeah, uh, you know, I tend to try to build what I see. And I I do want to uh could you anarchy in a fake bridge? I could. Jojo, that's not a, not a bad idea. I could Oh, that's interesting. So, I could just Yeah, I wonder. So let's let's actually let's get even more wild with this. So we're going to use our parallel road tool right here. We will elevate this. And then I wonder if I were to take this and just pull this over the top. Oh my goodness, you are a genius. All right, so we're going to get rid of this fence here. And what we will do is just add this right here so we're gonna get that aesthetic that we wanted i'll leave a couple of spots uh let me i'll leave a couple of spots where we have places to exit but wow yeah that's really nice yeah, I like that. What do you guys think? Do you like that? Is this is a, a workable solution in your mind. I probably should have kept the uh, the fence there for that little that little segment. Bree, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Uh, I love how the bike path and the sidewalks are so well utilized. Uh, that's a completely justified build, and who wouldn't want to bike walk along the lake? I completely agree. So let's see, nine months. <laughs> oh, Sandy, I get it now. <laughs> nine months, so a baby is born, yes. <laughs> uh, emailing sponsors for Phil to get to, Netherlands, uh, to get to the Netherlands. Ah, yes, I, yeah, I would love to uh, get to the Netherlands. My wife and I are planning, this is gonna be our 10 year anniversary this year, and we are planning on going to Europe. Not sure where yet, but that is, that's our game plan. So here we go, just popping this down. Yeah, I love this. Th this was an absolutely great idea. So let's go back. I'm going to add that fence again. So I'm going to, again, eyedropper it over here and then make our connection. And, and move it. 
pull this right over. And then one more bit over. Oh, that was uh, that was not what I wanted to do. That is exactly what I was afraid of. Wow, look at that utilization. All right, we're going to put this in place and I just it actually lines up pretty well in terms of the aesthetics there. Uh, we're going to pop this down. I don't think I can get this to be perfect. Yeah, it'll just be pretty good. From far, it's going to look great, but from close up, it'll look a little janky, but that's okay. I think most of my builds look pretty janky when you get too close, so I'm, I'm definitely a high-level guy. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Anniversaries, uh, we're a few months away, but it's it's wild to think that it's been, uh, it's been uh, almost 10 years. And when I think about it, it's actually been about a third of my life that I have been uh, with my wife, either dating or, or, or now married. So it's kind of... It's kind of wild to think about. Time flies when you're having fun. Time flies. Uh, all right, yeah, look at this. Absolutely excellent utilization. We're not despawning anymore. This guy's able to get, oh, it's Phil, he's getting off. Biking around, getting run, run over by cars. Perfect, <laughs> all right. So now that we've got that, we've got our university connected. Let's think about a couple of more connections before we start building our infrastructure to leave this community. So you get kind of orphaned over here. There's no way to, to solve that in the game because we have our tram network surrounding our station here, which is, it's fine. But I don't want to get trapped over here. So we might run along here. This is really well utilized, but I think that there would be some value in having another bike facility. So you could bike on the sidewalk past this or walk your bike. That's probably the better solution. Walk your bike around this area and get back to the bike network. So we're creating some additional connectivity through here. And this is a very dense portion of town, so I think it's really important that we get that here. And we could find one more connection through here. And I think that we're going to right here. And this might be where we end it. And I'm adding this one here because of our park. So just thinking about what's going to be here in the future. Now you could get from the train station to this park, to the capital, to our downtown area. You have lots and lots of options. So now let's think about leaving Van Buren. Where do you go? So we're going to have to look at our contours for this, and we've got some challenges. So the very first challenge is where do we even connect up in Van Buren? All of our connectivity is kind of away from this side of the road. Let's worry about that in a little while. Let's first start to think about where we're going from here. And I think what we're gonna do is grab a contour way up. I'm thinking of pulling it on the other side of the, of the, of the, of the rail facility. And the main reason is I'm concerned actually. So I'm thinking about this on the fly. It's probably not that we're going to have more bridging if we are over here. So we're going to keep our bike facilities in between the rail and the road. So it'll be right through here, but we're going to we're going to landscape this really well so that it doesn't feel quite as imposing because this would be an uncomfortable place. This is also fairly flat. So the, the amount of grading we'd have to do is minimal. So I think that that makes sense. I took the thumbnail over here. And I really like the idea of having the bike facility above, like kind of on the other side of the train tracks. But we're already going to have a pretty significant bridge to get across here, uh, to get across this arterial. So I think that we've got to think about how much bridging we're going to do. So I'm, gonna, I'm seeing some suggestions in there. Phil, we need more dog parks. <laughs> Poochie would say that. Uh... Should go over to Europe for your wedding anniversary. Yes, all over Europe. That would, that's a good, good idea. Let's see. I see that Nain had a good suggestion. I think that you might be able to hide the grass and sand on the on the pebble de, uh, with pebble decals, mid-century modern DLC. That is a great idea. That is a good idea. Why don't we why don't we do that? I'm going to ask a poll right now. I want to know if I see Banana Man's in here. That's great. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to ask a poll to see if we should build 
on the left or the right side of the train tracks? Where should we build our bike, our regional bike facility? Let's let's plan together. And one of the reasons I'm really excited to do this planning together is bike facilities are one of the more collaborative things that get, gets planned. So let's ask right now and see how you guys feel about this. Bike highway. Which side of the track? Left or right? All right. So I will ask this, and now we need to give Banana Man a thank you. So let's see if we can find the right emoji for him. This one, this is the one that I wanna see. Can we give a whole bunch of bananas to Banana Man as a thank you for moderating the chat? Thank you so much for being here. Uh, right side, you can make their nature reserve a hiking spot. I'm seeing some lefts right now. We have 1,230 people here. We've got 321 votes. So let's get that up. We're not ending this vote until we get to at least half. Uh, a scenic view on the hill, yes. So here's my thought process. If we have our bike facility on the left side, it's likely gonna be at grade and we're gonna grade this whole area out. If we do it over here, we're gonna likely use our bridge asset and try to make it look good uh, using that. So it's gonna be a, a little bit more scenic, uh, significantly more expensive, and really we're doubling down on this being uh, a, a, an excellent tourism amenity. Look at all those bananas, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, add a national park to the right and the bikes within. So there is a, there's something coming, something coming. Governor Johnson's got some, got some, got some issues with the entire state. We'll, we'll just put it that way. Uh, I've seen a lot of lefts. We're up to 512 votes, 1,323 of you here. Thank you so much. Wow. I cannot believe how many people are in here. This actually, I think we're now crossing the threshold of the most people ever in one of these streams. So I appreciate you all being here. That's bananas. <laughs> DL, yes it is. <laughs> All right, so we're getting pretty close. I'm gonna take this as another moment to blow my nose. I apologize again for the cold. Just one moment. Okay, and I see that there's some beer drinking in Europe right now, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, Batch just woke up. It's too early. I, you just woke up. Yeah, it, I think it's... You need, you, need to, you need to take your drink of choice, which at this time, Batch, for you, should be coffee. That's what I'm doing. Uh, it's it's 1.15 for me. I probably shouldn't be drinking coffee. Really, really hyped up. Uh, Sap says I've had 1,500. I might have. Might have had 1,500 in this stream. You might be right about that. Uh, I think that we're going to end it here. We didn't get to half of of, uh, of of everyone voting, but it's so it's so lopsided at this point. We're going to go with the left. Truthfully, we're going to be doing something over here, and there will be connections across, but we can wait for that. I think right now the most cost effective, especially if we're building a countywide bike network, is trying to find solutions that are as cost effective as possible. So that is coming along here. So we're, we might just mirror our mirror our train tracks as much as we can so let's end the poll with 62 percent. we have a winner we have a winner batch says 115 is too early for you <laughs> uh, what is everyone drinking right now don't you drop that in the chat i see tom is drinking coffee at 11 15 in california or is it canada it could be one one or the other the graphics look slick. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is a, so this is a modified version of uh, Eggsy's theme. And, you know, so I thought about actually pulling the theme for Nicolay Bay into here, but I've, I've gone against it. 
Uh, we've just been working with this theme for so long that it feels wrong to change it in this build. Uh, but I love the Nicolay Bay theme. I think it is, I spent a lot of time tweaking it. Uh, with a Nicolay Bay theme, just a, a couple of asides, it actually has the right longitude and latitude for uh, uh, for for uh, Mackinac Island. So when you look at that, the shadows, they're casting the right way. It's, it's specifically made for a temperate build. Let's see. I see Coca-Cola, coffee, Dr. Pepper, water, tea, iced coffee, uh, lechi, wine at 9 p.m. That's a that's a that's a fine drink. Whiskey, tea going on whiskey, water in Montreal, mushroom coffee. We have some of that. My wife has some mushroom coffee. I'm just not bold enough to try it. She loves mushrooms. We actually, the height of the pandemic, she got really into mushrooms. And in the room on the opposite side of the basement, she has a mushroom grow <laughs> operation and she was uh, growing some mushrooms uh, and it's very interesting. She got very, very good at it. It's very, very neat. Beer, it's uh, 717 in the UK. Water, blood. I, I don't, I, all right, folks, I don't think you're drinking blood. Unless you're a vampire, maybe you are. Who, who am I to, who am I to judge? Dasani water, apple juice. Love it. Seltzer. Also great. Spotted cow. Brendan, I know where you are. <laughs> you're either in Wisconsin or you're someone from Illinois or Minnesota who likes to buy beer here. Love it. Uh, milk tea. All right. All right. Let's get building. So lots of lots of interesting beverages in here. Lots of interesting beverages. Mushroom cloud. What is that? Chocolate milk. Bubble tea. Bubble tea sounds good. Uh, chocolate milk is also very good. Let's go ahead and I think we're going to just parallel this. That'll be a nice way to get a nice even facility here. I'm not going to promise that we're going to keep all the paralleling, but I think to start out with, it's going to be a good solution. And we can go quite a ways with this. Not that far though. <laughs> we can go quite a ways. We're going to tab this over and let's see how close we can get. It's interesting. It's adding, is that an elevated segment there? Maybe not. We're going to pull this all the way along here. That's too far. No, no, it's not too far. We, well, we're going to take it back for a, a moment, though. We are going to go this way. We do have to get to Otter Creek or Otter Lake. So that is a consideration. Let's tab this over. And I wonder why I can't. It's like not letting me go back further. I have to do one at a time. It's a little, little frustrating, but it's fine. All right, so now I'm going to try to center this in the within the narrowest segment. And here's where we're probably going to cross over. So we'll start here for now. And have I tried mud water? I have not. I have not tried mud water. Is it good? Uh, whiskey and CPP goes down very nice. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Uh, cappuccino at 2.15 p.m. Somewhere east of Montreal, close to Vermont. Very nice. Very nice. I've not had a good cappuccino in a while. I should, I should definitely have one. I am a black coffee drinker. And uh, that is generally what I am, I'm up to. So we could have our connection right here. It doesn't feel very well centrally located, but it would certainly, we're going to have multiple. So we're going to have a connection right here, and this will be a really simple one to put together. So I like the idea of this because we can just pop, pop, pop. So we'll go up nine meters, have our angle on, and then pop, pop, pop this one down. I'm very curious about the grade of this. It's probably pretty bad. We'll uh, look at that in just a moment. And up, up, grab the wrong node there. If you grab the small one, you can actually pull the whole thing. The big one is not quite as nice. So we might need to spiral over here and kind of loop back around, but let's see what this looks like. And I think that we all know that this is bad. <laughs> yeah, 17%. <laughs> that is a tragedy. So is that one. The other idea, we could stop here and let's see if we can stop a truck underneath right there. We are very, very high. Now, 
probably shouldn't be doing this. I want to, my wife was telling me that there was a truck in DeForest that had something. So DeForest is a, a suburb near us. Uh, and the truck actually had something on the top of its vehicle elevated and it hit the bridge, did a lot of damage to the bridge. Uh, I hope that everyone involved in that ends up being uh, safe, but that is one of the problems with having a bridge that's too low. And we just did that, so we'll have to see how bad it is. If this solves all of our problems, maybe we're okay with it. Whoops. We don't want to parallel that. 12% <laughs> still. Over here, we might be okay. Eight. We can fix that. So we're gonna we're gonna roll with that. Over here, we are gonna need to loop this around. So what we'll do is just eliminate this. And we don't need to get super prescriptive with this. We can just kind of do some things. So we'll pull this through and we can fix a lot of this and move it. And then I'm gonna bring this down to the ground and connect this up right here. And now we should be able to come through and move it, hold down Alt, and fix some of these up. Honestly, it's not doing anything for me, but it's not that bad. Let's see if we slope this, how our slope looks. Look at that. That's a lot better. We should pull this back over here, though. Truthfully, I probably should have Control H this to keep that height up and then slope from that location right here. So that's what we'll do. Much better. And we'll straighten this out. Ooh, and I'm breaking everything. So that's always a concern. All right, now we've got trees here. We, we need to be able to see how this thing looks. Oh. <laughs> It looks bad. So we've still got work to do. So we'll pull this around through here. And there we go. Holding down Alt, making that look a lot better. Yeah, and we could start dropping it a little bit here. Yeah, look at that. That is a... That's a nice piece of infrastructure. I like that a lot. Uh, there... Tunnel. No. No tunnel. <laughs> uh... You must be good at hand drawing circles. I am not. I am not. I actually have a, so from planning school, I took an, uh, an urban design course and it made me buy all of these like really nice colored pencils. And I went to uh, uh, Messengers, I think, or Messingers in Denver. So I have, I have this, this, this drawing pad and these circle makers that are specifically sized so I could draw landscaping plans, so. Uh, yes, ID says tunnels are a B, especially during flooding season. Absolutely. They're also, they can be unsafe. Uh, if they have jogs, they can be, be terrible. And generally, I think as a man, it's easy to think, uh, from my perspective, a tunnel might be completely comfortable for me, but it might not be comfortable for all users of that tunnel, particularly women. That's something that you hear routinely when, in, when you're in planning studies is that, um, what might sound good to a man might not feel great to a woman. So all the sorts of things that you've got to think about. Uh, and that's why it's good to have, if, you, if you've been considering planning or getting involved in your local government in any way, uh, and you have a voice that is underrepresented in your government, I would highly encourage you to get involved because that diversity of opinions and diversity of thought, I think is really, really important if you want your community to, to, to work well for everyone who lives there. It's very, very important. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. We have one of those in Madison. So there's a secret, 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 secret tunnel. Uh, so I worked for the state government for a little while, and there was a... It's not a secret, I guess, so I can talk about it. There is a tunnel underneath uh, the Department of Health Services in Madison. And what do we... Let's uh, go into Earth. So in Madison... This is Monona Terrace, and I apologize, this is a brand new install, so things are a little off for me. Whoops, we definitely want terrain on. So right here, this is Monona Terrace, and this is the Department of Health Services. I worked here at one point in time. This was uh, the Department of Administration. Absolutely despised that job, very political. 
Uh, there is a tunnel from this building right here, a secret tunnel to get the governor here. And when we had all the protests back in 2010, the governor would take the secret tunnel from the Department of Health Services to the Capitol building so that uh, to avoid the protesters. So it's it's very, very interesting to have those. And I'm sure that there are other tunnels underneath this Capitol area that I am unaware of. This this is an interesting if you haven't been to Madison before, uh, this is kind of an inspiration that we could take from what we're doing right here. So right here, I talked about Madison being a platinum bike friendly city. This is one of the things that makes us so bike friendly. We've got this bike facility that's going right along uh, Monona Terrace, right along the lakefront there. Uh, you have the ability to bike. It's multi-use, so there are runners and joggers as well. We also have a bike elevator that allows you to get from this lower level up to the capital level. So just very thoughtful design and, you know, just absolutely wonderful. This is a Frank Lloyd Wright design as well. So um, very, very, very neat. Not a secret tunnel now. <laughs> I don't know that it ever was a real secret. <laughs> but if I'm able to share that and, and if I wasn't supposed to, yes, more spammers. Thank you, Banana Man. Thank you so much. And that, that's how you can tell that there's a lot of people in the stream. We're getting, we're getting spammed. NDA? No, not about this. <laughs> uh, but there we go. There we go. So that is Madison. And that reminds me, I meant to show you guys something. One of the reasons why we're so interested in actually going to fall is this is a picture of uh, what we're looking at uh, in Madison right now. I was downtown the other day. And just, uh, it's, it's fall. It's very, it's very fall fall like right now uh doc blaze i hope that wasn't an nda it was tab i worked there at this point uh 12 13 years ago not under nda <laughs> we're good <laughs> although truthfully at that point in time i don't know that i really understood what an nda was <laughs> madison is awesome it's an absolutely fantastic city uh, i mean to, to have two bodies of water and the densest core of the city right here. And then we have our university right over here. Just absolutely stunning. And there's a lot of really interesting things happening in the community right now. So right here, this road right here is State Street. If you watched, uh, I believe City Beautiful had a, a video about State Street. This is a transit mall right now. Uh, so transit's the only thing that's allowed up and down here. And eventually some of this is going to be pedestrianized in the next couple of years is what it's sounding more and more like. So there's a lot of a uh, lot of really interesting things happening here. A lot of really progressive planning policy. It's it's an absolutely great city. So love living here. Back to the game, though, <laughs> and back to our bike facilities here. And let's see tunnel underneath the road where they belong. <laughs> so are you city skylining Google Earth? Yes. Uh, yes, we still have leaves on the trees in Madison. I went up north. So I talked about going up north. Uh, one of the reasons that we went up there is we were able to take a look at the at the trees. And uh, the fall up north is... Uh, the, 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 the color is just beautiful right now. All right, so for here... I think that we are going to force folks onto this bridge, which we're going to add bike facilities to. Oh boy, this is going to be a trick actually, now that I think about it. Where are we going to make our connection through here? We need to be able to get through, through the community and around it, but it's so developed that it's going to be a real challenge to have an off-street connection. We might not be able to have an off-street connection here. Uh, what we might need to do is, well, we could, now we can't even come behind because we developed the coast. So these are the sorts of problems that you end up with when you're planning this new infrastructure like this in an area with old growth is it's just really challenging to to uh, to figure out where the where to put everything. Is Madison going to be a 15 minute city? That's the goal. Uh, Madison, the, the goal is always to build complete neighborhoods, whether they're old or new neighborhoods. Yeah, the spammers are going bananas and Banana Man is throwing the hammer down. So thank you so much. Expensive tunnel through the YMCA. <laughs> we could go through the side of the, the YMCA parking lot. Maybe that's what we do is that we use this as an opportunity to upgrade some of our roads through here. Find a road that, ah, we've already upgraded. 
<laughs> so might come through here. This is very direct. I see the path. It's it's going to be kind of a mess. What we're going to do is get our bike facility through here. Use this road. Come down. And then elevate a bridge across here. And then another one right here. This is a super expensive project. Uh, but it happens. Back to a bit of inspiration in my area. So, let me see if I can drop down into street view. So I'm hoping we have the ability... Right here, this is a newer bike facility. And basically, it is a boardwalk that goes all the way through this area. I'm not going to be able to move forward. Uh, but it's elevated through most of this. And it's a swamp, marshy area. And it makes a very challenging connection. This was used, it was a county funding actually to build this facility. So I think that it makes total sense that we could build something like this. Very, very, very expensive. Connects up a couple of parks to one another, some county land, and makes a really valuable connection. So let's do that right here. And we are gonna start in the easiest spot because I'm lazy. <laughs> so that'll be right here. So we'll parallel this and I'm going to add some separation. And then we're going to need to send this up and over. So we want to keep the bridge span as, as minimal as it can be. And I think that that's going to likely be right about here. So we're going to pop this up. Right about here. And I think that's high enough. Our trucks look uncomfortable. <laughs> but they're fine. They're fine. Wow, the traffic we're seeing through here. We're going to need to do something about that. Not today, but this is... It's on my radar. I'm going to pop this up too. And then we're going to pull this back around. And then we'll drop this one, two. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep this elevated. Not because I think it needs to be, but because I like the barrier. And because we're not respecting our topography right now. So <laughs> we're going to need to do something. There we go. I like that a lot. Except for the trees, except for the trees. So right here, we'll turn our contours off so we can actually see what it looks like. We're going to need to smooth this out. It's really lumpy and bumpy and crazy. But you kind of get the vibe right now. So I'm going to grab this. Control H over to this height. And that's going to be our general height that we use through here. Control H. Control H. Oh yeah. That's, that's the stuff right there. That's the stuff. Alright. I'm going to improve this angle a bit and that's a much gentler curve truthfully I think that we could do that on the road here as well uh, but we're not focused on our road we're focused on our bike facility so we'll, uh, we'll avoid that we're gonna drop this down and connect it up right here so let's go ahead and do that so this will be a bit of area where we have to have this this uh this co-mingling between the off street and the on street, but I think it's going to be okay. It's a really low traffic route, so it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Now here, let's go ahead and bring this to the ground. And we're going to send that back through here. I'd love to keep behind this tree line. I'd be really curious to see where the property lines are. That would really dictate everything because right there is right of way along the highway that would be dictating where we could go. Because we obviously would want to keep within the right of way. So we wouldn't have to acquire any property. That would be very expensive. So we are removing trees here, which would be very controversial, especially to the Comfort Inn. And based on where that sign is, I'm going to say that we're inside of their property. 
we had to do a lot of acquisition. Very expensive, but we've done it because it was worth it. So we'll save a couple of these trees, just move them off of our path. And now we can upgrade this road all the way through here. So let's do that. Oh, that is some ugly stuff right there. We're going to clean up some things here as well. So we've got our collision off still. So if you guys see trees popping up through... Jeez, more spam. More spam. Just ridiculous. Um, Hide user from the channel. I don't know if little Leo James is real. But uh, you're getting hidden too. So there we go. Banana, I'm going to I'm going to try to help you. I'm going to try to help. <laughs> Thank you for all the good work. Uh, Dylan, no, no Clearwater County episode today. I, I probably should have explained that uh, with the editing. I just wanted a bit of time to be able to move forward uh, and record ahead a little bit so that I could catch up. So now that I'm doing all the editing myself, uh, I'm going to need that time. <laughs> so uh, I need to be just a couple of days ahead of where I am to be a bit more comfortable. So I'm definitely there now and feeling a lot better about uh, about where we're at. So here, we're back to this area. We're going to grab this and upgrade this bridge. Again, collision off. Whoa. We need this to be a bridge. We'll upgrade this. And then we'll drop this down here. I don't know how this is going to work. Uh, but what I'd like to do is basically convert this area to be a bike facility. So we're going to do that right here. Convert this. And then send it back here. And hopefully the Y is a good partner and is totally on board with this. And what we're going to do here is actually sever this connection. I'm getting some crazy slowdown. I don't know what the deal is here, but it's very mad at me. All right, now we're good. Now we're good. All right, so I'm going to send this back over to here. And it seems like the problem, the problem is actually the picker. Not exactly sure why. Uh, Canuck Errant says, hey, Phil, sorry for being so picky about the roads you left at the Capitol last episode. Did you get the parks flanking the... Flanking the, the building aligned. I did not. Why don't we do that at the very end? I did do some off-camera alignments, but not that one. There was a, a bigger issue that if you would have seen it, I think you'd have lost your mind. <laughs> because I did. As soon as I saw it, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't leave it. So I'm going to alt this over, straighten this up, and align it better. Uh, thank you so much for the support, Aaron. By the way, thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Do we have to wear pants to watch Sleepy Maker YouTube live? <laughs> what? No, you don't have to wear pants. If you are if you are currently not wearing pants, you're in your pajamas. I encourage that. <laughs> yeah, we're calling some mulligans right now. We're calling some big mulligans. So we're gonna move all of this brush and nonsense. Actually, it's probably easier at this point to just pull this. Yeah, that's probably a bit easier. We'll go with that. I like easy. Easy's fun. There we go. So here, I just despise this connection. I'm going to go through node and see if I can add in a crossing. And I don't know that I... Yeah, I don't know that I can. That is really unfortunate. So to add this, I need to actually add another connection right here. We are going to move this over, holding Alt. Oh, that's ugly. And then we're going to convert this little segment right here to be a bike facility. Ground level bike facility. Oh, you can't even see the lanes. It looks so terrible. Oh, I can't stand that. Let's see if there's anything that we can do to fix it. That's a little better. This right here, the problem, we'll slope this. If I turn all of these, if I make this a middle. Oh, <laughs> that looks bad. That looks real bad. Uh, 
The dormer feels overdressed. I feel overdressed. <laughs> Daniel, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Let's see if there's anything that we can do to make this look better. I don't think that there is. So if we're looking, I don't even see the colors. So this wouldn't be shifting. We would need to actually stretch it. And I can't stretch anything because it's a middle. So we are stuck. Ooh, custom. Custom actually worked. And then right here, if we turn off the red side, maybe even pull this over, and then use move it to pull this with alt. Yeah, yeah, I it's not perfect, but you know what? I'm pretty good with this. And it's interesting. I didn't realize I actually made this entryway into this park area because this is a park area a bike connection and I'm, I'm fine with that that's okay so there we go it's a real weird connection i don't know how you guys feel about that holy crap this is detailed yes <laughs> uh bike bridge that would be another option i think with all the bridging we're going to try to save on a couple of spans if we can otherwise the bridge would at, at, at some point you might as well just start it over here uh, unless you're going to go completely parallel. We're, we're, we'll just we'll allow a little bit of uh, commingling of this traffic. So at least it's on the side here. There's not a ton of traffic on this road. And we could have some sort of push button actuator. Maybe that's what we do, actually. So we will add a connection here. And run this over. And then pull this around. And the idea will be that we can have a push button actuator, get it away from that intersection and hopefully make it a more comfortable crossing for everybody. And now we'll pull this over here, use the curved road tool and make a beautiful connection. There we go. There we go. And now node controller, control N, pop it right here. Make this a middle uh, crossing rather. Go into move it, pull this over. And now I'm going to add the crossing here. So I will go into junctions. There we go. 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 I'm, I, that, that I like that a lot. So we are prioritizing this. There is no stop sign there though. So that is a bit of a concern. No, there is, there is. So there we go. I'm feeling really good about this. Uh, do people in Madison on Madison Day, Merry Isthmus in late December. <laughs> Do people in Madison say Merry Isthmus in late December? They should. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll start that as a thing. <laughs> uh, Land Surveyor from Wisconsin here. Big fan of your stuff. Love listening to your videos in the background while I draft. Thank you so much, Arrow. Love that. Love surveyors. Uh, they are absolutely uh, probably the unsung heroes of development. Let's see. I have an invisible gate. Don't like it very much. Signalized. Yeah, it's uh, it's certainly it's uh, you know, I think this might seem awkward to look at, but I think if you were actually biking through here, this would feel very comfortable. So the one thing that we're that's not great right now that I will admit is not great and maybe we need to think about it. Is this crossing here? Now you're crossing on the bridge to get over. It would be better if the bike lanes, and this is what we would likely do in reality, is put the bike lanes on both, like, bi-directional bike lanes right here on this side, shift the bridge over, and, because uh, then you wouldn't have the crossing. That crossing is completely unnecessary. But we're working within the game's limitations. So, that said, I think that some good points are made. So here's what we'll do instead. We will convert this to have bike lanes. And then right here, add bike lanes here. We're working with the game, and sometimes the game doesn't give you what you want. So this bluntly kind of stinks, but we are allowing that crossing to occur here away. Now now we've got to, now, 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 now we've got to do a whole bunch more because we have to have a signal here as well with what we're doing. So yeah, that stinks. I don't, I, I, this is really unfortunate what this is, that change is done. All right, well, we'll make our connection here 
and then we will signalize this. We're gonna move this. So that was these are these are good comments, and this is why it's nice to see you guys providing so much feedback. I have unlocked an achievement. <laughs> Reporting. I don't even know what that is. Um, let's see. We'll go here and we are gonna delete this. And then we will relocate this down to here. Kind of an unfortunate change in my opinion. But unless I have a bike, a dual bike lane on the right hand side, it, it, it's the one that makes the most sense. So now you would be able to cross here, cross here and get onto the bike lane or cross here and go on to the bike lane. Not great, but it, it's going to work. So now that we have that, we've got our bike lane going all the way through here. We've got this bit of ugliness that I wanted to fix. So we're going to alt this into place, looking better. And now you can come all the way back here pop up and that looks like it's a bit extreme in terms of our slope so we're going to modify that uh let's see what's merry isthmus <laughs> i live on a, on a city with an, i live in a city with an isthmus there are very few like that so it's uh, that's that's where that's coming from let's slope this so we're going to come into our uniform ui and slope this yeah that's 15 right there There we go. That's a lot better. And I, ugh, I really don't like what happened here. I think it went a little bit too high. I might actually grade this up so that it looks like it's at ground level. And here... Wow, that's brutal. <laughs> We're going to convert this to, again, be a, an elevated segment. So all of the mulligans, and I hope you're here for them, because <laughs> they're all happening. Now we're going to pull this up here. So it looks as though it's at ground level. And I got my brush strength really high. I don't generally like to work with it that high. If you bring it down, uh, truthfully, with Nikolai Bay, I worked on the map like this, <laughs> 0.3, and you have a lot of control then to modify things to your liking. So with this, I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit. Yeah, I'm a lot more satisfied with that. I think that we could do even better. Maybe I'll do some of this work off camera in between episodes, because I know that this this is the the height of tedium right here. <laughs> so <laughs> But you've gotta you've gotta if you want your build to look really detailed, you've gotta give it that time that it that it needs uh, in some cases. And we can also just pop it up like this. Oh yeah. Okay, now I'm glad that we, we took the time. Same thing here, just pop, 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 pop. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Jonathan says, hey, Phil, wanted to ask about exp uh, expansion of homes without expanding infrastructure. Um, Jonathan, that sounds, what, what I think about it, the expansion of homes without expanding infrastructure, I mean, I, I think that you have to. Uh, it, 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 I guess I'm confused a little bit about the question. So if you if you ask that question a little bit more, uh, with a little bit more clarity, I will answer it. Uh, Dream in the ear. What if you added some rocks along the shore? Ooh, I like that. I like that. That is a good idea. So I'm curious. Can I brush the rocks? I cannot. <laughs> As much as I would love to brush the rocks, I cannot. But I do think I'm able to... Nope, can't. And they're floating. No, they're not. They're good. Hey, let's let's do a rock treatment here. And this is... Oh! This is how I get carpal tunnel. <laughs> because I love doing the tappy rock thing. And now I'm all into it. I'm all about the tappy rock thing. So the one thing is the rocks are snapping to the path. And they're not rotating. I think I'm going to try something. We're going to grab this, pop in to move it. And I'm going to select these. And I'm wondering. Hide my unified UI. Could I rotate? Can I rotate these to make them look... Uh, rotate randomly. There we go. And then we will come through here and just duplicate this in place. Here we go. Look at that. 
That is wonderful. Absolutely great idea, Dream and Ear. Thank you so much. I really like that. We'll pull that right up to here to make it look like this was created with some riprap specifically for this. Now I should I should learn what that rotate randomly shortcut is if it exists. I don't know if it does. But either way, it's gonna look fine. There we go. There we go. Feeling good about that. What do you guys think? Do you like that? I need an auto clicker. Yes. <laughs> uh, have I considered an ergonomic mouse? Uh, I probably should. I'm currently using the Razer uh, Orochi. Uh, that, is that how I pronounce it? The Orochi V2. Love it. It's super light. Uh, it is very fast. has a couple of different speed settings. Oh, banana. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, probably should. Can you build a mosque and synagogue? Yes, that's coming up very soon, actually. I want to uh, build in churches and give the neighborhoods. We, right now, and this is kind of a flaw of City Skylines, is that you basically create places that have no demographics. And demographics drive decision making in many different instances. Woo! We stopped. Please tell me that we're auto-saving. <laughs> we are. <laughs> that was, that was nerve-wracking. <laughs> All right. Let's continue our, 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 our uh, facility while we talk about demographics a bit. So demographics really drive a lot of decision-making. So if you have a certain population that, uh, so let's just say, uh, in, in uh, I worked in an area where there was a large um, population uh, of, of, of uh, people that practice Hindi. And as a result, uh, they have specific space needs for a lot of the, the, the activities that they perform um, together. And it, the, some of the space needs, it was like you had to have a community center that had to have a large kitchen because there were multi-day festivals where uh, everyone would get together and cook. Same thing with uh, the Hmong population. Uh, when there are funerals, they can last a week long and everyone is invited to go there. So if you build a community center and you're not considering the users of those spaces, uh, you, you you aren't going to build it right. And it's that it's like that with everything. So um, it's important to uh, to think about the demographics. And the game doesn't really give you that opportunity. So I want to create it by adding in some diversity within our neighborhoods and giving that some thought. So through here, let's get rid of some of these trees. We're going to go through, move it and bring these to road level. And we're gonna have to bring a few things to road level. Looks absolutely terrible. <laughs> I don't know why, but we're gonna figure it out. So part of it, I think, is this. We've got a power line that is dropping into the ground. That looks a lot better. In a rural area like this, I would fully expect that folks would just bike on the side of the road here. So what you'd actually be thinking about is a wide shoulder and not necessarily uh, bike lanes. <laughs> but I think that's where we're going to have to go here is bike lanes. So we are going to upgrade this and it's going to look weird. Um, I'm curious, actually. Are there... There are probably no rural bike lane roads. So if we look at all the bike lane roads that we have, yeah, they're all very urban. So what we're going to do is convert the segment. We won't use lights and we'll see what we can do to, uh, within the network. Uh, what we can do over here with the network skins to try to make it look better. Let's see. Got some folks leaving. Bablama, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you, uh, you, you being here and, and commenting. Really appreciate that. Uh, 1,383 of you here right now. Wow. Absolutely wild. Better to move due to dirt around than a big bridge span. Yes. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we can do here. I wish that I had a 1U road that was not one way. That would be very helpful, but they all are. So what we're going to do is come through here and we're going to look at our two lane road with bike tracks or bike <laughs> lanes and force it to the ground. And let's look into network skins. So first of all, I'd love it if 
the roadway color. I guess it's not too far off. We're going to go for our lights and we'll just turn them off. Decorations. We're going to hide everything. Except for our stop signs. Hide our crossings. We'll keep our road signs actually. Arrows are hidden. So now it maybe will feel a bit more rural. Let's see. We have collision off. It still has sidewalks, which stinks. But it's not quite as bad as it was. So I don't think there's a way that I can get rid of the sidewalks. If there is, I'm not aware of it. So uh, we're going to be a little bit stuck there. So what we're going to do is run this along the coast here. And let's see. This is going to be our way to get to Ashland. Right along the coast, it'll be absolutely beautiful, and we'll get to the train station here as well. So I think it's, wow, we've got some stuff that is popping through. So this will be an opportunity to clean up some things as well. So I really want to redo these farms at some point. We used, uh, when we were building this area, we used a bunch of decals. And the decals fade away unless I turn up decals, which can really drop FPS. So I've really tried to avoid come into this area so that we don't see that, but I think that it's something that we need to we need to address. The other thing, I'm still not totally satisfied with what we're doing right here. So I very well may look for an asset to address this issue because I want a rural bike lane road that doesn't have sidewalks. So if anyone knows of any uh, rural bike lane roads that don't have sidewalks, let me know because I will absolutely add that to the build. Invisible bike lanes. Ah, surface painter to remove the sidewalks. That is a good idea. Oh, you're a genius. That is great. I wonder. Oh, this is going to be great. Is there a way within the network multi-tool to change the side? Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Oh, there we go. All right, now it feels more rural. So we'll go with this gravel side. Look at that. That's the hive mind coming together and coming and, and coming up with something good. So here we go. All you got to do is spend a bit of time and we can use our vanilla assets. So we get, we're going to have some work to do to fix the sides of these, but look at how much better this looks with the gravel side of the road. So we'll fix that one location back there, but wow, this is so much better. But people could still walk in the gravel portion of this. So the one thing, the bike lanes, it would be kind of nice to not have them be green, but maybe I'm asking for too much. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe I've gotten really lucky with uh, with what we're what we're doing, and I need I need to just be happy. What do you guys think of this? Yes, yeah, a genius moment. I I thank you guys. Looks great, just a little bit of tedious work. Yeah, it's a little bit tedious. And I see that I missed a member, and I apologize. Thank you, Dank Vader 360 for becoming an associate planner. I appreciate that. Yes, the hive mind comes and figures it out. This is awesome. I would not have thought of this without your guys' help. So, uh, huge shout out to all of you. All of you for helping pull this together. So let's finish this. We've got some work to do. Whoa, undo, undo. <laughs> that was not what I meant to do. We'll just upgrade the rest of these. And now I'm going to come back through with this and remove all the blobby stuff that we did. Now we've got to add a connection here. So we'll add this right here. No crossing and that's fine. And then we'll pull this, and I think we're going to make this a ground level segment. So we'll need to do a bit of grading to make this work. That's fine. Oh, interesting. It says ground level. No, we're not doing that. We're not, we're not going to even think about that. Not entertaining the idea. So let's grade it first, which is probably the appropriate way to do it anyway. So we'll come through here. And let's see, if I come through and just build this up front, there we go. 
It's not perfect, but it's perfectly okay. Let's raise this up and see if we can make it any better. That transition's really rough. But I think we're going to be okay with it. And we can be even more okay with it by coming through and adding... Oh, that's terrible. Terrible. Um, I might leave that one for an off-camera fix. Because I do think we are going to... We're going to get over to Ashland and get to our existing bike network. But then I want to focus on fall just a bit. And I think that as it's going, we're going to run out of time. Because about... I actually thought that uh, the stream would be about two hours. We're going longer. This is going to be a long stream. Uh, let's see. Welcome, Associate Planner. Deleted. <laughs> I don't know who that was. Uh, thank you, Banana Man, for being so uh, so on it. Oh, Callum Evans on a 300-second timeout. <laughs> oh, sorry. Thank you so much, Callum, for becoming an Associate Planner. appreciate that. The timeout will end, and hopefully uh, I, uh, me at... Uh, Addressing it directly is helpful. <laughs> Node controller might fix this. Let's see. Uh, it looks like it made it worse. <laughs> uh, if I make this a middle, which is never good. I'll just delete it. The other solution that we could look for, again, is our ploppable concrete. So let's look for that. So we'll come through, and if we look, I think we have it a one by eight. Oh, that's way too big. What if I take this and I add this right here? So now it's it's pretty good. We'll move this to where we need it to be, and then we will use this to delete a portion of it. There we go. Oh, it's not going to be, it's not going to, we're not, we're going to be stuck with a little bit of imperfection and we're going to have to live with it. That's going to be okay. All right. I'm going to step away from this because I will go crazy. Uh, let's see. Mehmet says, thank you so much for the support. Wow. Thank you so much. Uh, Korean bike road in the workshop can be both rural area and a bike and a bridge in the first crossing. Good. I'll, I will check that out. I will check that out. Thank you so much. Uh, good job, Phil, going on. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe for that angle, the connection is too much and maybe need to bring... That could be it. I wonder if that is the, the, the reason. But I could spend all day fiddling on this. I think I'm going to stop because we need to make our last connection. And then we need to take this build to fall. And that's going to take a little bit of time. I'm not sure how far we're going to get in that, but we're going to go for it. So let's go ahead and... I'm going to grab our bike lanes from over here. I'm not sure if it's going to take. Ooh, shoot. Not what I meant to do. I just, I'm not sure if it's going to take the, yeah. It, so we were able to clone the look of this one. That was the main concern I had. I don't want to take the rural bike facility and continue to pull that across. I want the urban section to begin right here. So that's what we were able to do. And with this... It's interesting. I'm very tempted to actually pull this through a rural section through here and then run this through the high school to connect up. We have our protected bike facility right here. We know we're going to reach. Oh, our tram network is going to mess everything up. OK. We'll pull it right here. I will convert this bit of road back. And we're going to have some ugly stuff right here, but it's going to do the trick. So what we'll do is, again, grab our urban section, pull that through right here. It's very surprising to see all of the abandoned homes in this area, but we certainly have them. We're going to dip out of town right away and then pull this down. And truthfully, I probably should have looked at the traffic. Thankfully, it looks like this is functioning as the arterial. These are not so bad. 
So we'll run our rural bike facility right down here. Oh, I hit the wrong street. That is frustrating. <laughs> so we're going to need to give that another shot. So as I'm making all of the mistakes, <laughs> we are going to need to make a couple of changes. So we'll come through and reconvert this. And now I think I need to step away from the bike lanes because I'm clearly struggling. <laughs> There we go. So now I want to look. If we look at our pathing, are we seeing lots of bike connections? Krista Plays, thank you so much for the support. Just saying hello to you. I really enjoy your series, you and Biffa at Made City Skylines. Feel not so intimidating to play. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, this, this game should not be intimidating to play. I think that anyone could play it and anyone could be really good at it. So if I'm able to help convey some of that, uh, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, what could go wrong? What will go wrong? <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's see what our bike utilization looks like. So you see, we've got cyclists. That's the 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 light. The, I guess teal color. They're coming all the way along here. That is great. They're even using some of the rural streets, which you like to see. But they are able to cross here, come along go all the way through the community. We need to have better connections through Shorewood, but pretty pleased that they are able to use this. I, this is what I really want to make sure that we're using. That's weird. I don't know what that is. We'll need to take a look at that. And through here, we've got our crossing and our connection. We're doing good. All right. Feeling good about this. So we obviously have more work to do with our bike facilities. I'll clean it up just a little bit, ending that right there. That needs to continue to, to go further, but... I think that we've made some good progress. What I want to take a look at is right here. There was some odd stuff going on and I don't know what it is. It's this node that we have here. Let's just see if we actually see. Yeah, they are coming up and looping around like that. That is really weird. Maybe now that fixes it. Oh, they, they're disappearing. <laughs> Okay, well, I think this is going to fix it eventually. I think it'll fix it eventually. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure why uh, that that was a why that's a problem. But we are going to take a look. Uh, coming back around, and we want to take a look at our city statistics. And we've got a lot more cyclists. 1,500. Not as impressive as I would have hoped. 300 more cyclists. It feels like a lot more. But, uh, but there we go. We got YouTube channel in here. Oh my God, let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think we're 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 in a we're in a, a better location, a better spot here. I do want to focus a bit though on the fall conversion. So that's going to take a couple of minutes, and we're going to talk a little bit about it. I don't know that I'm going to do all of it on camera because of how challenging it can be. You could run into lots of problems. So. The very first thing that you need to do, well, let's return to the desktop and uh, <laughs> we will come through here and I want to show you a couple of folders that I have up. So right here, this is my in my Windows account, app data, local, uh, colossal order, city skylines. You can see all of my mod XMLs. And then over here is my server that I have all of my video recordings on. So I have a temp folder in here where I dump all of my settings just in case something gets screwed up, have backups of all my mods, and you can see that everything's right here just in case. So when you're converting over to your fall build, I would highly recommend you grab your Bob configuration and settings and just copy them, come through, and you have your, your copy of the folder, paste it right here. Save this. Because when you want to convert it back, you, <laughs> you like the desktop picture? <laughs> when you want to convert it back, you have the settings right here. So this is something I didn't do last year and I deeply, deeply, deeply regret it. Because all of the changes that I made to every single asset, to every single tree, I lost them all. But if you save this XML file, these settings, you will be able to, to, to revert your save to looking the way that it 
that it used to. So now I've got to do the painstaking work of coming through here and finding these trees and then finding in a fall tree, a fall variant. So I could do that right here and let's convert that. And that looks honestly not very good. So this is one of the concerns. I think at some point in time, I ended up with a whole bunch of the same kinds of trees. So now there's a lot of red. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of work that you have to do. Save. Oh yes. I will save the game. I will save the game. Thank you so much, Steven. That was <laughs> huge. Uh, 34 of you already got a degree of some kind. Uh, oh, Jay, let's see. Hi, I've been interested in city planning and urban planning. I'm deciding what I want to pursue. This is a career that really, uh, this is a career, this as a career, and I really need help in terms of how to even start uh, with in all the different occupations. Well, first of all, uh, if you already have a bachelor's degree, Becoming a planner is pretty easy. You you don't need to. Yeah, I shouldn't have replaced the evergreens of all of, of all the trees. So I'm gonna revert those ones back. Uh, becoming a planner is pretty easy if you've already got a degree. It's a it's a master's program, so you just basically you, you're able to pick up uh, and get a. Oh, and look what it did. That is terrible. This is why you back up your. Uh, <laughs> this is why you back up your XMLs. So let's see, MP9. And we will convert this back. So basically, planning, you can have any, any undergrad degree. You'll have to take more of the general classes, but it, uh, it it's not a bad thing. Jamie, thank you so much for the support. I just want to say thank you. You are my favorite City Skylines creator. My cities are much better now, and your videos are extremely calming. Thank you so much, Jamie. I appreciate that. Uh, the trees are gorgeous. Yes, we need to get them in the right spot. and We will certainly do that. So we're going to go. I think it was a great comment. We're not going to replace evergreens, and that might give us the green that make it look, look a little bit better. So let's go for fall. We, I've got a whole bunch of fall trees from last year, different colors, different shades. We'll go for this. It looks like it's kind of a reddish color. That's much more appropriate. That little bit. So it's just kind of coming through and varying it up. And we've got a smaller one here. This is kind of similar. That's too small. I don't like that. So let's see if we can find something else. Ooh, that is really red. I really don't like that. <laughs> so, and some of these are really detailed and some of them are not. And then I have other trees. Oh, that's looking a lot better. I have some other trees that don't have leaves at all. And I, let's see if we can find some of those. So we'll come through and... Tree with a lot of leaves. Uh, bear, maybe? Bear tree A. Yeah, so here are some bear trees. So they've already lost their leaves. And then we'll replace this with another fall tree. Ooh, Young Linden Fall. That's what we'll do. <laughs> there we go. So you can already see it's just going through and bobbing out the trees that you don't want anymore. Now the problem, maybe it's not a problem, it's just a reality, is you've got to go through all of your buildings as well and really double check to see if there are trees in your buildings that you don't want. So right here, in this building in and of itself, you can see that there are two. So we would need to replace this with Linden Fall Tree. This will replace it in all the buildings that have that tree, but it's still a thing you've got to do. We'll go with another fall tree here. And maybe we go with a something that's a little bit redder. There we go. So I'm going to probably finish this off camera. We'll slow it down. I am getting some kind of brutal FPS. Give me one second. I'm going to blow my nose one more time. I apologize.
Oh, the cold is just brutal. All right, so Fall Oak, I saw that. And did I see Philip? I saw Philip. <laughs> we have definitely seen Philip. It's everywhere. Let's see if in this area, do we have a Fall Oak? Uh, let's see, we'll click through. Fall Oak. Yes, we've got some Fall Oaks. So we'll replace that here and then I'll see if we can find, we actually have variations. Maybe this one's multiple. So maybe that's the one that we use out in the wild. There aren't many more trees out here though. You start to see that there are just a couple of different variations of trees. So maybe I take some of these bear trees. I don't know that I love those anyway. We want more color, right? We want more color. Yes, uh, the Doomer. <laughs> My, my nose is just, it's absolutely wild right now. This is why it's good to be a faceless YouTuber. So you guys don't have to look at me with my, my nose that is reddening throughout the stream. <laughs> okay. Oak variations. Oh yeah. That is so much better. Let's zoom through and just get a look at the county. So obviously there's some work that needs to be done over here. I think this was a brush that I used that has more of the newer trees that came with the new DLC. So this work that you're seeing that is, is very colored is Eggsy's work. So that's the, the, the trees that came with the map. I've replaced a lot of those, but there are some other areas. So we've got some work to do here, but it's making some really good progress. So I absolutely love doing this. And all of this is being saved right now inside of this XML file. So again, if we take a look, you can see 217, it's currently updating our configuration file. So as long as I save this, I can pull this back and forth. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing and create a winter one and then have those variations. Maybe I'll put those, um, maybe I'll put those in the Discord if anyone is interested, if they're building with the same set. Uh, Laura, thank you so much, that's that's very kind. I, you know, it's a cold. We're, we're okay. Um, it's it's more frustrating than anything. Maple trees. Uh, probably. Let's see. So we'll come through here. Let's replace some of these. So we've got these maple mixes. Yes. So we've actually got a lot of maples. Maybe that's something that we need, we need to work in a bit more. So Bob can be a little bit finicky from time to time. You gotta select things. And I don't know why it's not allowing me to pick these. There we go. Oh, those are absolutely beautiful. Those are great. I love that. Great suggestion. Maybe we'll go with some gold ones. And it's not letting me select a couple of these trees, but we'll go with some gold ones here. Look at those colors. Look at those colors. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, feeling Calvin and Hobbes up here. Up in here. <laughs> uh, I think in the in the other room, my wife has her old Calvin and Hobbes book. Uh, Zeke, you're in Madison too. It's 49. Or, or no, you just know it's 49. Yeah, I'm going to have to get outside after this. The more color, the better. I agree, Retro. Uh, Will, thank you so much. If you haven't liked the stream yet, Please make sure to do so. I agree. That's a, that's helps increase the reach of the stream, and I would I would sincerely appreciate it. I think I in the past I haven't asked as much for likes, and I think I'm gonna start getting a little more uh, a little more eager about it, but hopefully a little less intrusive as well. So I might start. I, I have the the overlay that I, I have in the videos with uh, you know asking for likes. I think I might stop doing that a little bit more. Uh, beautiful fall colors. Thank you so much, Laura. Thank you so much. So I think we're going to take a couple of, whoa, 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 no, we've got to fix a couple of things. So I'm going to get rid of these trees just randomly appeared in the highway after the conversion, which to me means that I never removed them. I just relied on hiding, which is a, uh, not the, not the greatest idea. So we'll just focus on this. This tells me that I've got some work to do, but that's okay. I will probably do some off-camera work to clean up some of this because uh, it's very necessary. We even have trees underneath these power lines. That is not okay, too. So definitely some work to do. That said, 
I have a, a lot of time that I can clean up trees and remove them from highways. I have very little time with you all. So I'm going to take a couple of minutes. And what I think we're going to do is I'm going to create a camera. We're going to pan around the city a little bit, like a city tour. And then I'm going to chat a little bit with you. So let's go ahead and I will just add a couple of areas. So when I create a city tour, I generally figure out where I'm going and I go into cinematic camera and I will just come through here. Now I always put this in that. That looks bad. I don't like that. Oh, we got some fires too. <laughs> uh, I will come through and watch it a number of times to make sure that the speed is correct and run it at, at, at a minimum half speed. So it's buttery smooth. We're not going to do that because it's not going to have the same effect in a stream. So we'll try to run it at full speed, but I'll slow it down enough and slow down the gameplay that hopefully it looks good. It'll be a trick because if we take a look at our monitor again, we're going to get some wildly varying FPS depending on where we are in the, in the build and depending on how zoomed in we are in the build. So just trying to follow and it looks like a lot of trees popped up with this, 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 this change. So it's an opportunity for me to go through and fix a few things in the build. And it's, I think it's necessary. So I'm not overly concerned about it. So we're going to have a very, very long city tour. We'll come through. I think we'll zoom around here and I'm going to take a quick break. So here's one, one thing that I did do. So this is a question that came up. Did I fix these yet? I have not, but this whole Capitol building was off skew from this. So I had to move over this entire park, probably a, a couple of meters. And now it's, now it's good or goodish. We're not going to look too closely because <laughs> you might not be happy. Okay. So a little bit more work here. Then we'll zoom out so we get our 100 FPS or no, 38. And then we'll end it right there. So now I'm going to come through and we're just going to slow this down. We'll take it to maybe one eighth speed. When I hit play, we'll see what it does. Oh, that's good. That's real good. So now I'm back in the chat with you guys and let's see. Tram tour. That's not a bad idea. Uh, Myrtle is a traveler, Verde Beach, Clearwater County, and Nicolay Bay. I think it's Philip in Nicolay Bay that is doing his best Myrtle impersonation. I'm not very impressed with him. <laughs> uh, Captain Planet ain't mad at you, Phil. Thank you so much, the, the, the Doomer. <laughs> uh, it feels like there's a lot of commercial abandonment all throughout the county. Yeah, I think so. I, I think that what we're going to need to do is take some of the commercial buildings that we have and convert them into residential and truthfully i think that's going to be something that we're going to see more and more anyway in reality uh, office and commercial being converted to residential in downtown areas um it's certainly a challenge uh, when you talk to people about that it's it's a significant change to think of a bunch of residents in areas that were places where people used to go to shop and work but i think that's where we're moving uh, i see a big 10 football update i am just absolutely not paying attention to, to, to college football after what's been happening with Wisconsin this year. <laughs> it's been a rough year. Uh, what FPS is starting to, uh, your FPS is starting to take a hit from the looks of it. Yeah. This area is the biggest challenge. So I probably would have needed to, to get this to be buttery smooth. I would have needed to lower the speed even further. Uh, truthfully, I probably just would have changed my angle. So that's the other thing. Your FPS changes depending on the angle that you're at. I think I have the detail on very high right now too. So I might've taken that down a little bit uh, if I wanted this to look a little bit better. But now that we're leaving Ashland, you're gonna see that the frames start to pick up. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, more block services for mixed use. Yes, we need to do that. Uh, Philip isn't just an identity theft, he's an arsonist. Stay tuned for the next Nicolay Bay. <laughs> The high graphic settings are so visually pleasing combined with the great city. It's a, uh, it's just pure joy. Thank you so much, Will. I appreciate that. Uh, yes, Banana. Wisconsin did finally win last week. 
but but it's been really tough outside of that. <laughs> uh, making the auto, autumn aesthetics, redoing farmlands. Uh, are there corn maze assets? There are. I don't know if there are, but we could make some. That's a great idea. Parks, paths, something. Yeah, we actually. I need to get to a corn maze soon. Let's see. Hi, Phil. When you restore the Bob files after fall is over, won't you lose any of the changes? Yeah, I will. So I will need to be very conscious about what I'm doing. I would lose any trees that I place. Uh, let's say I have a building and I'm placing trees at that building. So I just need to make sure that in the winter, I'm not doing a bunch of landscaping. <laughs> so truthfully, in reality, you wouldn't do a bunch of landscaping in the winter. Uh, someone get this man a 4090. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's see, I don't know if it would even do anything. I, I, like it, just reasonably, this game is so uh, CPU bound. I don't know if it would actually have an improvement. That said, I have been thinking. I have all of these different components, and it's been on my mind. Maybe I should do some testing to see how uh, different components run with the game. So if you want to hit a certain FPS target. I could I could run a few tests on the game and see and see how it works. I have a 3060, I have a 20 a 2060, 2080. I have to double check. And then the I've got the uh the uh the 3080 Ti. I've also got a uh an AMD 5600 and uh the 5800X and the 5800X 3D. So I could test all of those and help you buy uh components now that things are getting cheaper. So that's certainly something that we could do. Uh, let's see. Hey, Phil, can you do a similar video to the one you did in Verde Beach showing 200 years of development in Clearwater County? Yeah, I'm probably going to do that. That video was really a, a, a time intensive one. So I will probably do that um, around a milestone and, and kind of give the same disclaimer that it will take me a couple of weeks. But I had so much fun with that video. And it's funny, like in the middle of it, I was like, oh my goodness, is anyone going to watch this? And it seems like people really, really enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching that. And, you know, it's it's weird when you make something to, to be able to watch it and enjoy it. But that's one of the few videos that I've really, really enjoyed that I've put together. I mean, I've enjoyed videos that I've put together, but that's one that I really, really liked. Uh, let's see. Do I have 64 gigabytes of RAM? I do. But I also have, in my, in my kids build, 32. So I could certainly do that. So I could, I could try different RAM configurations as well. Uh, I wonder if a Threadripper style C, uh, G, uh, CPU would help. I don't know that it would. CPP not landscaping the entire season. Are you sure I can do that? I don't know that I can. <laughs> uh, save some GPUs for the rest of us, Phil. Jeez, yes, I have, I have a couple of GPUs. <laughs> That said, they're all computers that are being used, so it's not just like I'm hoarding them in the in the back room. So <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that my kids are PC gamers. So making computers and, and playing with them is is, a, is really important to me. Uh, when Clearwater County reaches 200 years at City Pl uh, Planner City Destroyer plays, it's already at 150. Yeah, yeah. So I think that we've been moving really. Oh, auto save. Terrible. Tree in the middle of the path. Bike right through it. Uh, yeah, I think time here has been, uh, we've been speeding by, even though the city's significantly smaller, it's more detailed than Verde Beach. Uh, bus highways in Clearwater County or BRT? Yeah, we're going to have a BRT system. I'm very excited to do that. Uh, and I'm not sure if it's in Clearwater County or, or Verde Beach, but I want to do that. Probably Clearwater County. I think that here it's just a much more logical, a logical, uh, uh solution. Eight gigs of RAM. That is that is really tough with this game. <laughs> really tough. Uh, hello from New York City. Hello, hello. Uh, any pics of the setup to post in the PC channel on Discord? I could do that. So my new PC, basically, I had a server, and I, so I have a server. I have a Synology NAS that I put together. Uh, it's an eight bay. And I basically took all of my drives from my old server that I had. For whatever reason, I wasn't able to get uh, a true uh, 10 gig connection to the server. And so I couldn't edit off the server, what, which wasn't a big deal when I wasn't editing. It was a little frustrating, but, you know, trying to get there and not being able to. 
But when I, as I've been doing more editing, I want to do that off the server. So I upgraded the server and took the old server and that is becoming the kids gaming computer and then taking components from that server and incorporating it into my build. So basically it's a big reshuffle. I like building computers. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's not something that I, I have been doing forever. I built my first computer in grad school uh, for quote unquote GIS. Really, I wanted to play SimCity 4. <laughs> and, uh, so I, I went to Micro Center and built the shuttle PC. Not great, but it worked. Um, and then my first build uh, that was actually like a, a, a really powerful gaming PC was for the channel. And I've just really fallen in love with building computers. I'm constantly reconfiguring. I, I got a couple of different cases and uh, I just sometimes I get bored and I just change it up. So let's see is Clearwater County in the UP Wisconsin or Minnesota. It's all of the above. So it would be from basically from Duluth over to the eastern side of the UP with a bit of Wisconsin at the top grabbed in. So if you think of like the uh, Eagle River area, Ashland, that would be brought in. Uh, let's see. You also wait for an hour to load saves. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Uh, yeah, I, so this, so with all of the changes to the mods, Robin, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Thank you. I appreciate the support. Uh, with all of the changes to the mods, my load times have dropped down significantly. I think I'm at right now about four minutes to load in to Clearwater County. I was at like seven to eight before, so it's getting better. So a lot of the new mods that have come out have replaced multiple mods, and it's it's really, really improves things. I see that there's a couple of GIS users out there. Vic Ali is part of the GIS crew. Love it. Love it. Holy cow. Will, three hours to load into your German build? You're not, no, no. That can't be true. Uh, could have COVID. Yeah, I could. <laughs> I don't think I do, but uh, yeah. That So we have expired tests. I don't know if expired tests are good. Uh, but we tried an expired test and uh, we, we seem to be okay. But uh, that, yeah, that's that's certainly something that has crossed my mind. Uh, let's see, any time in the future for 5B1C? Uh, I think I'm going to leave that for other folks. So uh, I, I enjoyed my time on 5B1C. It's personally, it was very stressful for me. <laughs> and woo, we've got a lot of stuff happening here. Oh, look at those, look at those frames. So I'm going to turn monitor it off. And rather than going into the, the first person view, we'll just pop in here and we'll get to enjoy the fire. Uh, TJ, thank you so much for becoming an associate planner. Here's our tram tour. Can I say your name, Brash? Yes, I can. Uh, Arcview back in the day. That's how I can tell that you're an old school user. Yes, Arcview is like at the very end when I started learning. Have I used ArcJS Pro 2 or 3 yet? I've had to and I hate it. Uh, I probably need to get used to it. This is me be, kind of being an old timer and just saying I know what I'm doing already, and I don't want to, I don't want to keep, I don't want to keep uh, learning new things. <laughs> I think that Arc ArcGIS Pro is a lot more like QGIS, and um, maybe I just need to bite the bullet and get used to it. If it's a runny nose, it's not COVID. I don't know. Uh, so. When I had the, the COVID, my symptoms were, first of all, I never tested positive, which is kind of weird. My whole family did. I never did. Um, I just had a headache. I had a very, very bad headache and it lasted for like a week. But I also went out with a friend from out of town and that could have been why I had the headache. <laughs> uh, we, we, we believe that we got it from my daughter. She was a... Uh, you know, in school and whatnot. So it just kind of one of those things that happens. Um, so, yeah. So if if I have it right now, it's different symptoms that I had before, which very well could be hard to say. Uh, let's see. I think turning off the fire spread would help your FPS. It could. It could. Uh, I the door. The doomer would live in the city if it weren't for the fires. Yeah, it's great. Besides the fires. <laughs> uh, let's see, John. 
First time turning into, in, tuning into a stream live. Thank you for all the content you deliver. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you being here. Uh, a one one on one bike tour. I think that we need to remove some trees before we have a bike tour. It's going to be a tr it's going to be a tour through the forest. Jason, you uh, learned Ezri to do stats way back in the day. I have, it's a surprisingly powerful tool to, to do statistics. Uh, my biggest frustration with ArcGIS is uh, it's really helpful to have open office calc to be able to open your DBF files. And in my office, we lock down our computers so hard that I can't use open office calc. And it's the easiest way to modify a table. Uh, so, yeah, it's just one of those things. Planner Duck, finally caught a stream and I'm not busy on vacation. Thanks for all you thanks for all you do. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Planner Duck. Always with the support. I, I just really appreciate you. Thank you so much. And I apologize that I've not been on Discord as much, but I will be on very, very soon. Uh, let's see. Will says he has uh, 2.5 thousand assets. That's a lot. Uh, Robin, you lost taste. When you had it. Yeah, I never lost the taste and I never lost my sense of taste. My, I was really worried about that too because I've heard that it makes coffee taste like just motor oil. <laughs> I just love coffee so much. It would just, that would, have been, that would have been a really disappointing thing for me. But I don't, I don't actually know if I'm one of those weird people that never actually got it. It was just surrounded by it or not. And it's hard to say. Hey, 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 Bobby J just saw Philip with two L's get on the tram. You know what? Just just for that, just for that, I've got a solution for this tram. <laughs> Philip with two L's, absolutely not. Goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Keep fire spreading on, but place more fire breaks. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get better about that. Um, I'll let you in on a little bit, just a little piece of the next Verde Beach. Uh, I did add in fire breaks in a portion of Verde Beach in the next episode. That's not what the episode's about, but there was a big fire and I felt like I had to address it. Uh, how does one know the taste of motor oil? <laughs> the sense of smell and sense of taste are very related. So, ooh, everything tasted like licking, licking nine volt batteries. That is brutal. That is brutal. All right, let's go ahead and I'm going to, we'll, we'll give it a bike tour. We'll see how this, how this goes. We'll follow Carol Peters. And we've got a whole bunch of information on here. That's fine. We'll go with it. Uh, let's see. Fire spreading, yes. Fire breaks, no. Uh, is mid-30s too late to get into city planning? No. In fact, there were a number of people that I went to school with that were in their mid-30s and it was their second or third career. My boss at my previous position... His first career was actually in TV, and he discovered urban planning after kind of being disenchanted with his role in TV and decided to become a planner and became a planning director. Great guy. And he, I want to say that he ventured into the field probably in his mid to late 30s, maybe even his 40s. And he did it. He did a, a, a bang up job at, at, at what he was doing. And he still is excellent planner, uh, a visionary in my mind. So absolutely, uh, there's no time that's too late. That said, you don't have to, if you want to, if you want to know, start observing some plan commission meetings and feel free to ask your uh, local planning office, you know, to, to sit down and chat with you about what planning is like. Uh, you should consider some sort of fire break or fix. Yeah. So Nicolay Bay has a different problem. And what is up with this? They're just like bouncing around. Oh, oh, oh. We've got to do some, <laughs> some grading. Yeah, that, so this is why the, the one, the, <laughs> this is pretty bad. Uh, wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna see if I can speed past this. It's real lumpy and bumpy. This is, we're gonna, we're gonna pass. We're super, super excited to keep this going. I don't think it's going to get better. <laughs> uh, Carol has consistent speed. Yeah, she's she's very good. I I don't know why we're we're bouncing like this. It's it's kind of like we're biking on a on a trampoline. 
It's a, it's a feature, not a bug. <laughs> Pogo bike. Uh, giving you Canadian vibes. Yes. I would imagine, I mean, this, this is very close to Canada, this whole build. Uh, what theme do I use? I'm currently using a modified version of uh, Eggsy. Well, so actually, are you worried, wondering about the LUT or the theme? So, I'm using a theme mix that I've just created. So, I'm going to be releasing it soon, but it's not, it's not available just yet. Now this is interesting. We are actually elevated above this, which is not what I meant to do, but I kind of like it. Look at how much smoother it is. Much, much better. Planner duck, 14 months. Holy cow. Recently had someone come into planning in her fifties. Absolutely. You can be a planner at any age. You can come into that field at any age. Uh, how do you become a city planner? Uh, there are graduate programs that are accredited that you can apply to. And they're across the country. Uh, Canada has some as well. I mean, around the world <laughs> so uh you it, you it, for the most part you have to have a master's degree it's not really like i brought up my old boss he got away with not having a master's degree but that was right before the recession where i think it was a little bit easier post uh 2008 it's basically been a a, a requirement to have a master's degree now, all the jobs that are posted say you need to have either two year, you need to have a year of experience or a master's degree and you can't get that year of experience without a master's degree it's really tough so and i learned a lot in grad school so even though i have a planning undergrad i would highly recommend grad school because i learned a ton and i met a lot of people there as well uh pedaling for dear life yes Let's see. H91 says, don't tempt me. The planners and architects in my city are dreadful at what they've done. Don't blame them necessarily. Oh, Scott. Scott is Fate 57. That is awesome. Yes. So I've been working with Scott. I apologize. I've been very slow at my responses. But everything that you've been doing, Scott, is helping me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Make the build better. And this is terrible, terrible. So yeah, there's some things happening here. <laughs> I don't know what this deal is, what the deal is with this. So we've obviously got some work to do here. Uh, <laughs> and then you come back to an area like this. That's really weird. It's really weird. I wonder. I wonder if I can. Oh, academic year report. I'm wondering if I can smooth this out while we're following her. So we can multitask. So let's see. Look at that. Now that is full service right there. We can remove the trees and smooth this out while we're following her. <laughs> and I think on that note, we are going to leave it here. But I want to I want to encourage you all to give Will a little shout out. Will, let me know is your video live? I want to, I want to post the link. I don't know if I know, I don't know how to redirect. I'd love to just redirect this thing. I'm going to try, but is it private? I'm going to just gonna click, I'll click on the link. It is unavailable. Will, I need you to change this link to public. Make it public. Uh, because we are going to, I'm going to give you a link to Will CS's new video. And we are going to take a look at it. So let's see. I'm looking. I'm refreshing, Will. I'm refreshing. And as soon as it is live, we're going to end the stream. So yes, multitasking. We made some things happen. All right. So Will's video is live. All right. So here's what I want you to do. Go to this. I'm going to try to redirect you. We have the uh, the ability now. I don't know how to do it. Um, so if it doesn't take you there, save that. Let's see what we can do. Let's let's experiment with YouTube together and see if I. Now I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna hit end and see if I can do this. I'll do one more thing. Let's see. No, I can't. 
We're gonna end this and I'm gonna see if I can send it over to Will. If I can't, please, I encourage you to go check out Will's video. It just went live and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's end, oh, actually I'm gonna end the stream immediately. So it's not going to redirect it. What if I go into stream settings? Huh. I think I'm kind of stuck. I don't know how to redirect, so I think that we're kind of just stuck. Unfortunately. So, highly encourage you one more time, head over to Will's channel, and I want to thank you all so much for joining me here today in Clearwater County. We've had a lot of fun. I will save this for all of the... Uh, for all of the patrons and YouTube members, this save will be uploaded to the saved file, the saved Dropbox right away. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone, and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Jakina, for the, uh, for the, please make a Lithu Lithuanian build, for the support. I really appreciate that. Again, here we are, and we're going to end it. Take care. Bye-bye.